Hello and welcome back to Path of Exile. This is the, uh, not a tutorial, but a, a hints and tips for new players. And in this, ep uh, this series, I'm basically explaining all my decisions as I go along and taking my time. No rush. The season's coming out pretty soon, so we're not, we're not going to get deep into the end game by any, any stretch. But, um, we'll be able to play the game and explain all the things that I do along the way and why I do them. Uh, this guy's pretty cool. Let's see. Diablo 4 is rubbish. That's his name. Okay. I actually played uh, D4 and, uh, well, the end game was, uh, it needs work. <laughs> this guy's got cool stuff. Uh, cool effects. I think he bought those in the shop or might be, um, might be stuff, but those are probably microtransactions, which that's how people pay for the game. Um, because it's not pay to win. It's a free game. So... Uh, the company makes money off of these neat effects and things and stuff they sell you if you... And it's optional. I don't have any of those things on this character. So, let's see what we're up to. Let's go over here. Up in the... Over here, it tells us what we're working on. It wants us to solve the Trial of Ascendancy. And we're in... I bring up the map. Act 3 in this town right here. Sarn. You always want to remember that. But you can go in here. And once you unlock all of these, Act 2, Act 3, in the crematorium map, which I think is right over there, right? I don't know if it labels it. Oh, there. So if you go in there, you'll find this um, trial, this little mini trial. And if you complete it, it gets unlocked. And then in Act 3 in the catacombs, somewhere around here, you go in there and you complete that one. Well, this one, we don't know about it yet. More than likely, it's either up in here, probably somewhere, but we'll find it, and we'll unlock it, and then we can actually do our ascendancy, where we get to pick. We go in here, and we go through this trial. It's called a lab, or a laboratory, and if we complete that, then we get to unlock our subclass of choice, which is amazing. <laughs> it's just, it, it really changes the gameplay in a, in a good way, like we can get unstoppable or undeniable meaning we can not be stunned anymore we can get our damage way up there's all kinds of things you can do you have a lot of choices uh so what else can we do let's go here we're good we're gonna go to our menagerie real quick and see if um we just click on that and this is like a zoo of all the beasts that we've been fighting with this guy he if we if we capture all the beasts in a map and they usually have that icon in the map, and it tells you, hey, there's a, there's a, this guy will be in the map with you, helping you capture him. He throws a net on him. Well, if you capture him and you get stuff, he, you come in here and you can see which ones you've, uh, I guess I'll call it, caught. And if it has something like this, you can actually do it. Now, it gets a lot more complicated than this, but this is just the simplest form of it. I mean, it goes way down here with all kinds of different rare creatures and combinations that you can do. And it allows you to craft items. It allows you to get items. Um, like right here, let's see. Oh, look at this one. Quality, 23% quality corrupted gem. That's pretty good. That's hard to get otherwise. A level 21 corrupted gem. Fully linked six socket rare item. That's a really nice item to have, but, you know, we didn't find this this guy. And what we have found is this. So we're going to go like that. I got to get ready here. I haven't played a day or so. And let's see. All right. So if we're going to fight this guy in this little arena, if we kill him, we get an orb of fusing. So let's do it. He's level 27. I'm not sure what level we're at right now, but this might be a tough fight. So I'm going to craft it, drop a totem, and start chomping away. Now we have life gain on hit so we can heal ourselves with every... Oh, there he is right there. I'm swinging kind of slow so I know I have to work on my attack speed. Get that up next. We'll see what we can do about that. Get our mana back a little bit. But I'm pretty safe because of these... Uh, every one of those balls, if they hit something... Oh, we'll kill that guy off. We'll straggler. Every time a ball hits something, I get, let's see, right here, life gain on hit, cruelty support, life gain on hit. For some reason, I always put my life gain on hit last, 
Um, it's just a habit, because sometimes I swap it out, but I get 18 per hit. Well, if I hit five of them, that's hits almost 100, uh, like 100 health instantly, so things can go get pretty cool. I can really stay in a fight and face tank. So then we killed that guy, we open it up, and there's our orb of fusing. The orb of fusing, let's say all these were, you got a four link item, or this this item right here. You know what, we'll just do it to show you what it does. All right, so for, so far, this is a four socket item, but it only has three linked. See that little link in there? We want to try to link this up, so let's see if we can do it. We're going to take it off. We're gonna, you got to take this out of there because uh, I think. Let's see if we can do it with them in there. I don't think you can, but maybe. Here we go. I know you, you can't do it while it's on you. you got to take it off like that. So we're going to right-click, and we're going to see. We're just going to roll, and it might get all four linked. That would be pretty cool actually item sockets are not empty that's what I thought I thought that but I never I haven't tested that in years but here we go right click here we go oh we did get lucky it happened to link that up now we've got a four linked item now here's the thing we don't have a skill yet that would rec you know it'll little faster attacks is nice what's this one vengeance is nice let's go we're going we're gonna to put something on here that increases the value of this. See, this, if I hover over there, it tells me Ventures is supported by faster attacks. That's okay. This one, the Leap Slam is... But let's see if we can do something to Leap Slam in town and make that a little bit neater. Now, the downside is, right now, Leap Slam costs 11 mana every time I jump around. And you can see over there the blue thing going down. But, um... We can put another support gem on there. Let's go find out what we could do right after this. Is there anything else we can... No, it was that one. We could have had a, a choice of those. It looks like it gave us a choice. We used the same. It was that guy and that guy. Is it a Sands Bitter? What was it? Sarek? Yeah. It gave us those two choices. The, the Orb of Bindings. I probably would have wanted those instead of the Fusing. But I didn't pay attention to it. So you got to be careful there. Cool, no problem. Let's get out of here and we're going to go to town. Do I have anything to sell? No. These I can sell for wisdom scrolls. I probably will sell. Let's sell them right here. Greetings. Sell item. I'm going to push... Oh, I can't separate unless I'm out of the vendor. So if I push shift, click, I can just go like that. Go like that. And then sell. Control, click, left click it. I'm up there. And now I've got more of those. They stack up to 40 maximum and away we go let's go to town next and you can see this is this is just me explaining everything in as much detail as i can so let's go to nessa she should have some gems for us we're gonna purchase not from this tab but from this tab so let's see we want support gems because they support our skill gem that's a skill type gem that's a skill type gem. That is a support gem. It says support everything. So now if we type in there, it'll filter it, make support gems. So what life gain on hit? So every time I jump around, technically. Oh, and this is level seven too. It's already at level seven. We didn't have to level this one up because we're in this area and we're buying them from her at this level. She sells us already pre leveled gems to level seven. So what could we do that would be interesting? Um, what about like a Fortify, Life Tap, no, Leap Slam, Support, Maim Support, Maim would be interesting where we maim them, have maim on them, enemies maimed by increased, enemies maimed by supported skills take increased damage, no, so I could do something like I could try to blind them, have a chance to jump on them and blind them, that would be interesting. I don't want them to flee. I want them to stick near me. I could stun them. I could knock them back. I could melee splash so it does even a bigger thing. What could I do? Life gain on hit. That would be interesting. Kind of, sort of. Added fire damage. Faster attacks we already have. Let's, uh, it seems weird, but chance to bleed would be nice. Let's go with this because I know that I want to be leveling... A couple of these life gain on hit support gems. Normally I'd level them over here. In fact, am I leveling a second one over here? 
No, I'm not. Hmm, let's do that. So we're going to buy two of these. One. Two. Oh, and it's green! I forgot this is green, so we got to look at the green ones. It was, I'm always in a, a habit of looking at red support gems, so we could, but this is okay. We want to level this one up anyways, so we're going to put it right there. Because once both of these hit level 20, both these life gains, there's a trick where you can turn it into a, a very easily turn it into a quality level 20. And then you re-level it up, and there's a trick to it. That's a more advanced thing. But that's why people, like, they, um, if they find a skill that they really want to use, they're leveling up a replacement on this second set. All right, so let's find the green support. Accuracy, no, because that would be only accuracy for that supported skill. So I don't want that to be the case. Chance to flee, blind. Oh boy, there's not a lot of good ones. Momentum, volley, momentum. What does this do? I've never used this really. Gain a momentum when you use a supported skill. Okay, gain one momentum. Gain one momentum every blow while channeling a supported skill. We're not channeling it. Lose all momentum if you move. Supported skills have a 17% increased attack speed per momentum, so we'd we'd get one and then we'd move, so we'd have a little bit faster. When, it, when you reach three momentum, which we wouldn't be because we'd be spamming it, that's too much stuff, so let's go with blind. Supported skills have a chance to blind the enemies on hit. Supported skills have 12 blind duration, so it's kind of boring, but we blind them. <laughs> Why not? Let's just throw that on there. How much more does it cost? Was 11, now it's 12, no problem. So it's just a little bit of a defensive. I think blind, if we look it up, it they have a le it lowers their chance to hit us. Be well. So that's fine. Next thing we're going to do, I've got a plan here. We're going to go to our hideout. Oh, we went to Act 1. I don't think she sells anything different in Act 3 at Clarissa. She shouldn't, but let's double check real quick. Hello. Hello. Purchase item. Hatred. No, she sells different things, but not things that I want to put on here yet. Yeah, I don't want to lower our, our mana. Like, this would be a mana reservation of 50% of our mana would be reserved to put this on, so no. No, we don't need any of this stuff. Punishment. We will eventually get one of these or two of these and start rolling with them, and it's quite effective, but not right yet. All right, let's go to our hideout. We're going to take a look at our gear. This is the crafting bench. We've used it before. We're going to use it again. Um, you can actually craft on these, too. In fact, we probably should add a little something to this. Let's go take a look at our stash. And can we augment that? Item is equipped, of course. Remo now it removes curses. No downside there. Ooh, we could roll this one. Let's roll it for fun. Uh, it's a little dangerous, because it could make it kind of technically worse. I don't want to do that quite yet. Um, we have 19 re-rolls here for these. What is this one? Now this was pretty boring, so we're going to re-roll this and hope for something better. We'll re-roll it a few times. So I hold shift down and just left click, and I read it. Increase that. Avoid chill. Nah, I don't care about that. Uh, I don't care about chill. Maximum charges, a little more, but still. Ooh, we get some elemental resistances, but we're doing fine on our resistances, so no. Nope. Uh, we're only going to do it three more times. Increased. No. 18 charges. Chilled. It really likes this chilled thing. Increased charge recovery is good, and then we'll augment it and call it a day. So we get if we happen to be using this, it'll give us some more ident um, 21% more, um, what do you call it, uh, resistances. Our resistances, I don't know how good they are. They're around there. We're getting them up to 75 is the cap so far for us. So get, we're going to get them higher so that we take less damage from fire, cold, and lightning. Let's go back over here, and we're going to craft on this. All right, so we're looking at it. That white line at the bottom that says 15% increased damage, that we've already crafted. So we can't craft another thing on there. 
quite yet. This one, there's six different prefixes and suffixes. There's three of each. If I hold Alt, it'll tell me. And it and it reads prefix, prefix, prefix. Ooh, it's not. I, I didn't notice, but one of those prefixes is just two items. So it says suffix, suffix. So that means, even though it has six lines worth, there's actually only five mods on here. So let's go ahead and go like that. See if we can get... We can! This is nice. Okay, so... We're going to take this off a second. We could have left it there, I guess. This is our lowest one. I'm going to go with... I don't care that much about... I'm going to go with fire resistance first. Because I know in the... Like, if I happen to have still be using these gloves, that in tier... Or in Act 6, fire becomes an issue, so... I just want to make sure our fire is gone. Cost one of these. We have plenty of those. Oh, fire's already there. So cold. Fire's already on it. You can't put fire on it again. Looks like fire is already there. So we're just going to do this one. And we'll craft it. And now we got some more. Whatchamacallit. What about this? Ooh, we can do life. Mana's fine. We could add fire damage to our attacks. That's tempting, but it would cost four of those. More damage is fun, though. We got plenty of life. Let's go with the fun. That's fun too, though. Which one? We'll go with this one. This is tempting, though. Craft. And what about... Oh, we can't do anything with that. That has two mods on it. This was a, uh, a rare ring, which can have three pre prefixes and three suffix suffixes. This has one and one. See how that is? Prefix, suffix. Let's do these boots and see what we can get on here. Is there movement on these? Yeah, 10%. We can do life. I don't need armor right now. We can do cold resistance and really stack that up. We'll just do life. Craft it. Done deal. 786. Put these on. 809. Okay. Can't do anything to that. We could do something here. Let's see, I hope... Yeah, we don't have to take the gems out, do we? No. We could do fire. Now here's the thing, if I'm kind of doing okay, oh, we'll do fire. Nice. So what we've done is, we've just come in here and spent only a few. I mean, we spent some. We had them, though, and it's not the end of the world. Can I put anything on this? I don't think so. Not yet. No, I had a lot on there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll right-click it. Yeah, we're done with this part of the skill tree on it as well. So I just came in here and did this. I got some more man or more life. We upped our fire resistance a lot, so we're capped on that now. It's 84, but we're capped at 75. We raised our cold resistances, and pretty cool. Not bad. Well, that's just a little detour to do that. Let's see what we're, work we're working with. We're going to click through these, and it this tells you where you want to go. So that wants us to go there. That wants us to go there. So those are the choices. So let's work our way that way. So we're going to go here. That's the only way to get there. Ooh, there's a little... If I push tab, see that little thing right there and right there? And let's see if we can get our vitality going. That uses... That used 85 of our mana. There. So we've already used a lot of our mana up. Let's go over here. I think we, we have this item. Ribbon spool? No, we don't. One second. Oh, he's already. Oh, jump over that. There we go. Sorry. And let's go find the door. It's probably going to be off to the right somewhere. Let's jump down here and find out. Come on, jump down there. And see, this is a darker map, so this shows up more. Whereas in a lighter map, the map overlay doesn't show up as much. I wish they would automatically adjust that. That would be nice that it would recognize dark versus light light maps. Ooh, blue guys. Knock these guys out real quick, get some EXP. And because we'll put this down to protect us for a second in case these guys want to come over. Under game... 
we change it. See how these are outlined and see how that's outlined and it, it tells you that it's a red, green, blue linked item. If we change this to none, that goes away and everything becomes kind of bland. The default one, it starts to highlight things and you can get really, really advanced um, on Filter Blade. If you look up Filter Blade in Google and go to that website, I think it's like that .xyz. You can download a um, a filter and you put it in this fo filter for put it just like that, just like that. And what happens is um, you can get really really intricate filters that will filter out all of this stuff. So if you really don't care about deer skin gloves, you don't want them; they can be gone. Or if you want this to be highlighted. And if you want it to even say in a voice, hey, there's a three, uh, their chromatic orb is right there. It'll say it. It'll do everything for you. It's really advanced. Pretty cool stuff. But that's, for now, this is good enough, and we'll go from there. <laughs> All right, let's go on. We're going to upgrade that Vengeance one. And that Vengeance just basically swings back automatically, like it should hit back, let's see. Boom, and it hit back, <laughs> and because it's affected by, I don't know what this actually does to the Vengeance, it makes it swing a little faster, I don't know if that adds to the damage, but it's affected by blind too, so it can blind them. A diamond ring, that does critical hit, we're not going to be doing critical hits too much right now, so I don't think it's going to be better than, say, cold resistance or maximum life, and I look at the, as in that's the, the implicit thing. That diamond ring does will always do uh, critical hit, whereas this sapphire ring will always do 28 to cold or cold resistance. That's the base type of the item. What if you wanted? Because our crit is only what? Right now it's our crit crit chance. Come on, let's see. Six percent. So 20 percent of that would just get it up to like seven percent. But once I start stacking crit chances up, then we can start doing stuff. Oh, is that the door out, or is that the door way back the other way? I think it's the door to the other other area. We don't want to go to the marketplace. We don't want to go there. So it's, we know that the door is going to be this way. I can use my space bar and my shift space to speed along with those potions that we made, these two. Let's jump over this guy. Can't jump over those, though jump up there that's funny we can jump up there but we can't jump over the uh the smaller thing we don't need to do this right now because we've already unlocked all the abilities on it which is kind of sad it's a fun thing to do but i mean if they're if you've already maxed out your uh your weapon it's like well what do i why do i want to do that i don't see a door over here so it must be up this way and i'm just kind of ignoring these guys i think we're over leveled a bit oh yeah four levels over if I'm jumping on these guys, I'm actually blinding them too, or a 10% chance to blind. Oh, lightning arrow, we don't need it though. Essentially, if you don't need it and you're going to sell it, I look at that and I say, okay, it's worth uh, a scrap, or a frag. That we could turn in. Let's see, what do we have? We have oh, it's, a, it's, it's not better, but it's, it, it's better, the base is better. See that 38 max life? 27 max life so what we do is if we find like an essence or something we want to just roll on that we might get better than this so we'll take it and just hang on to it for a roll we'll take that giant life flask is that better than that it is pretty cool I still don't see the path out that we we're going to take is this the path out I think it is There we go. Just like that. Now we're over here. Is the eternal way pretty and lifeless? I think we gotta bring that ribbon. If you look up here, it'll kinda explain what we're going for. And I know that the way to go is this way, because I've been through here a lot. Even though it's random, this is a less random-ish. And we'll see how random it is. I just jump along and smash stuff. And just jump and smash it's fun I'll use shift space so oh, there's a might as well get that it's always fun getting these things waypoints are nice like a 
like a not a safe spot, but a uh, a spot where you, you know you're. Oh, look at this guy. He's kind of interesting. A Sally. That's a helmet. And let's go like that. We'll take that to sell it just to get some. I think we'll sell that for five uh, shards. A rustic slash slash stash, sash. <laughs> We sell that, we'll get some things for it too, but we'll just keep on moving along. Maybe it's it could be down here, but I doubt it. I think it's gonna be the I think this is a dead end. Yep. We'll use our potion of speed there, the flask potion, the silver flask to really chunk and that see that white thing circling us? If that goes away, then the potion effect went off, so it lasts six seconds. But there's ways you can make it last much longer. And uh, this way, Ooh, there's a, there we go, let's go over here, go down to level two, and it should be, level two should be on the map, see how we went there? Pretty cool. This way is, it's a little random, but we'll see, oh, let's identify this, just for fun. Now if we re-roll it, we could get, you know, different stuff. This one contains identified items that you don't have to, but it casts an ice nova too. Let's drop that down and open it up. Start swinging. All right, so that's identified. What did it identify for us? We'll sell it. Away we go. The neat thing about um, really good item filters is, let's say I drop that down there and he killed something off the screen a little ways. Well, if it dropped something really good, it would make a sound, or you could make it say, hey, you dropped what a mirror on the floor, and you wouldn't have ever known it to go back. But with a good item filter, it will it'll alert you. Look at that. That was our vengeance. So we can just stand here. Let's see how what good our vengeance does. Boom, it blows everything up. And it's not very often, but there might be a way to get the cooldown on vengeance to go down. So you could make a... <laughs> Not that you would want to, but you can make a vengeance build where you just walk around real slow and just let it... Don't even swing at creatures, and it'll just explode them. <laughs> Pretty cool. There's so many things you can do in this game, it really is amazing. Very nice. There's a four link. It's a plate armor. Not linked up. What do we have in here currently? Steel skin. We really don't care that it's like linked up except for that one. And that is what, a red, red, red? Red, 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 that's interesting. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take a look at it. 295, that's a ton of armor. We're gonna do some work on that piece. That's gonna be a piece that we work on that might turn into something nice. It would be really nice if it was already linked. One second. There we go. Let's go find out where we gotta go. What we're gonna try to do is, we're gonna roll it with one of those fusings, I guess. Where's the way out here? It's kinda weird. Is it over here? Oh, no, 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 I bet you it's further down. I bet you it's this way, right over here. Right around in here. Probably not even this room. It's going to be the next room. They wanted us to go a, further, a little further south. Pretty nice. Let's see how much our vengeance does here. Pretty cool. That's pretty impressive, I would say. There's the sapphire ring, but we've already got one on. And it's better 28%, so... But we could turn it into a, uh, whatchamacallit... What is going on here? This is not what I'm normally used to as far as this, uh, this area going this way, but oh well. Also, awful. also haven't played in a month or so. Maybe two months. <laughs> and here we go. Let's run over here. The new uh, league's coming out. That's going to be interesting. And uh, I, so far, I, I think what I'm going to do is another tutorial like this. For new players and explain what I'm doing you know, along the way and go deeper into the game as well. I'll take those boots, I'll take that, 
I'll take this. I know that's a chromatic. I want it. This allows me another roll. If I wanted to re-roll this and get a red, red, green, gives me one more chance by selling this item for a um, chromatic orb. It gives me one more chance to get the like links that are the socket colors that I want on an item. We'll take that. I think we have to turn in the quest item right over here. That vengeance is kind of cool. <gasps> I know that there's something in here too. Let's go in here. It's a dead end, but there should be something in this. Not over here. It's up to the top, I think. See, that looks like something, but it's not. That's just a journal. Up here. Come on. Maybe that's not the place. Similar place to this. You don't want to miss it. That's like our map device that we're going to get to. But if you like this content, uh, just let me know in the comments or the uh, hit a like or subscribe. And it just helps me know what content you, you guys are liking. What is that? There we go. We turned in the ribbon and we got this. Now, currently we have mana regen. We've been okay on it, but but not great. So it's going to be a hit. So we have to decide what we want to replace it with. Generally, for a class, let's say you're a strength-based class, you're going to need dex. If you're an int-based uh, class, you're going to need either strength or intelligence. So you'll have pl we have plenty of strength, unless we want to really stack strength. But uh, I'm going to go with dexterity because it's kind of hard for my character to find dexterity very easily. So we're going to take that and hope that this roll is really ridiculously good. There we go. The cockroaches will come again. Oh. I like you. Oh, she likes me. Let's find out what it rolls as. All right. 5% to all uh, elemental uh, damage. Two uh, life per hit per enemy hit. Not terrible. Energy shield. This is not that really that good at all. This is pretty bad. We're going to hold on to it just in case. But I don't think... I think we, we don't even need to hold on to it because... Sometimes you want to hold on to an item that will give you some dex. Let's say these boots are really hard to wear, but they had dex on them. What you do is you would put your dex ring or your dex amulet on temporarily and then put the boots on, and then you could take your dex amulet back off. So it's a little trick, like a little item swap to get the boots on so that they can activate, and then you can wear them. So we're just going to sell it. Let's see what these boots have. So this one has 10%. That's really all we care about, is upping that 10% move speed. I don't see move speed on there, so pretty much garbage. Let's move on. Oh, I'm going to show you in town what we get difference-wise as well. I think it... Uh, uh, I'll have to confirm it. Oh, so we did our, our quest. Uh, I think this is all dead end right now, yeah. So if we go back over here, it'll show us where we have to go next. So we cl click this back over. We've done that. It wants us to go there. It really wants us to go there. We're going to go to town real, for a second. And, oop, not town. <laughs> that was my hideout. Now, the thing is, when you replace an item in your gear, you got to try to remember, hey, you know, I might as well just upgrade it at my crafting bench. Hello. Let's see. We're going to sell this item. So if you sell this item, unidentified, we get... Five of those uh, transmutation shards. Now, if I had, if I ID it, it will give me um, possibly some of these, which is great, but an alteration shard. So let's go take a quick reminder of what that means or does. Transmute shards are for turning normal items into these. Well, uh, or, you know, into magic items. We don't need as many of these right now. We're okay with these. I want to have more re-rolls. So when I re-roll stuff, this is the re-roll of magic items. This is a re-roll of a rare, a rare item. I don't, I don't, I have these, but those are expensive. So I want more of these. So that tells me I want to, oops, <laughs> caps lock key. <laughs> I got to turn that off. Um, I want to hold shift. And I'm going to identify all these rare items. I'll even identify these. That's an 830 flask. That's nice. Let's see what we can get out of this. Okay. I want to identify these because they give us more bang for the buck. I knew I really wasn't going to want to wear this. 
because it's not a four linked item up here and the likelihood of me finding a better item is uh, the stats on this item would be have to be go through the roof to make it worth it to ditch all that so we're just going to sell this stuff that gave us the chromatic orb too okay oh, we'll sell this too nice we got two total op you know re-rolls let's find out this removes a curse that removes a curse so what we're going to do is do we're going to augment this with one extra thing Oh, we'll actually re-roll it. We don't want to remove curses. So let's re-roll it. Okay, reduced amount recovered. Increased 50% of that recover recovery applied instantly. This is a complicated one. It's interesting, so I'd get, uh, what is that? Almost 200 replied instantly, but that's only of that much health. I don't want that one, so let's re-roll it one more time. Yuck. I don't want that one either. It's too much reduced. That's 300. Grants were bleeding. Okay, let's take it. So that'll get rid of our bleeding. Not the end of the world. There we go. This was the dexterity intelligence item I talked about earlier where we were going to swap items out. So we're going to put that right in our top right. That's just a reminder that, hey, if we need some dex and intelligence real quick, that we can just grab it, swap that on there, and get some just temporarily to be able to wear an item. We'll put this uh, small life flat. Oh, let's do this real quick. We're, we're going to sell three of these. Mate. For the next item up. Just like that. Might have actually wanted the transmute shard, but it's okay. But now we have two of those. We get three of these. Goes to... Then we'd have two of those to get three of those, and so on. There we go. Close to the same. And we'll take these and put them away. And now I'm going to go back here. And I notice I want to work on this. We said we wanted to work on it. So let's do it. <laughs> We'd also like to work on this, but I don't have... I, this This item, I just want to re uh, turn it into a rare item, like this. But I only want to do it with an essence, so I'm going to hold on to that. This one. Let's take a look. Okay. We want to re-roll. Oh my god, we only have one fusing. I don't think it matters if these are fused together. But we'd like... Fat. We don't even need faster attacks technically on our um, ancestral thing. So this is okay. We're just going to... We're just going to... Use one of our alchemy orbs, which are expensive, but I want to do it to show you guys. Here we go. We're going to turn it into a rare item. It's going to have a lot more armor. What can we get? I hope it's something good. That's not very good. But the armor is great. The life, if I hold down control, it'll compare the two. So we lose a little bit of dexterity. We get more life. And we can go... Um, we lose some... Uh, we'll take this off temporarily. We're going to see what our um, defenses are. So it looks like we'll put some lightning on there. So let's go over here. We're going to put lightning on it. So we're going to put lightning here. Just like that. Craft it. And then we got to put these things on there. This faster attack, we're going to put on our second one and continue leveling it. We're going to put this back here, and this over here. We'll put it right there. We'll put this on. Now watch this. This is the difference in armor. There's that one. Estimated physical damage reduction, 31% from 168 armor. Now let's put this one on. 54%. That's a big, big chunk less damage we're taking from physical attacks. So let's do that. We're going to have to reset this thing back up because we've been swapping out our steel skin. We're going to have to move that off of there. Looks good. And we're just going to sell this piece of... Uh, can we sell to her? Hello. Yeah, we can. So what we're going to do is we're going to push edit. And we're going to move her right over there. Just by dragging her. You can turn her around, make her face whatever way. And we're just going to turn her around this way so she's kind of facing us a little bit. 
and then we press edit again. Hello. And sell. Gives us the eleven thing. Cool. And there we go. Now we have twelve. Now this item, I want to I want to make sure I don't forget about it. I'm going to put it right there on our to be crafted slot. I call that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Not bad. We're doing fine. Our def, def, our resistances are fine. Our armor is a little bit better now. We're going to go right back in here. Nice. Summer breeze. Everything's nice. Here we go. We're going to go upwards in this area reset because I've been gone for probably longer than 12 minutes from this area. Oh, that's a, a spark coming at us. We'll take that scroll of wisdom. Why not? Pretty soon you'll get to the point. Oh, that was something. That sound, that bar, 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 sound, I think it was this item right here. And it made that sound because it was four linked, a four, uh, four sockets and all linked. So it made a, our loot filter said, hey, you might want that item. Well, for us, it doesn't help. But in general, it doesn't know that we're a, a sword, a big two-hander or sword axe user. So it was like, eh, whatever. But we'll still sell it. We'll drop this down. And I think this is the way. Let's double check. Uh, no, I think that's the way to Solaris, which is over here. So we don't want to go that way. So it's this way. So it must be to the left, usually. Now, it can't... It can... I've never... Actually, I've never seen it spawn in such a weird way that it... uh. Can I jump down there? Oh, very nice. There it is. See, it's, it's to the left. That is to the left of that. So it should... This entrance should be to the left of that. There is a guy down here. Do we have to kill him? He's around here somewhere. Uh, it doesn't say that. I think we've already killed him once. Let's just go in here. The docks. What does it say? Search the docks. Optional. Find this and uh, travel to the Ebony. Okay, so we've got that. So here we are. Let's go search the docks. We'll just do what you guys would normally do, which is just try to clear and peek around. I kind of know what we're looking for, so... Everything's cool. Ooh, very good. Very, ooh, an Orbo Chance Mutation. Might as well take it. I like them. Now there's even in your item filter, you can edit it and make those... Uh, the the name plates for the items even bigger so that it even gets easier to pick up things that you want. I like that a lot actually. <laughs> oh boy, I haven't done this in a while, so let's see what we have to what we've been working on or what we're going to work on. Looks like we've been doing our two-handed work. Oh, we are working our way around here. That's a, a that's something that I wish they would add um that it shows you where your last point spent was that would be kind of nice kind of as a reminder of where you're heading looks like we're heading this way so that our melee skills have a 20 percent increased area of attack then the next thing is this is kind of interesting non-val skills target one additional nearby entity an enemy that is uh pretty nice so we're gonna do it here we go And away we go. Oh, so we, uh, those things even get bigger swings now. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Moonstone ring. The base on that is 24 maximum energy shield. Let's, uh, increase the value of all these things. What is our damage up to now? 1260. 1438 with that down. Pretty cool. So nice to be able to just kill stuff. Boom, boom, boom. So we're looking for something around here. Let's find out. Let's see if I can. One swing, the vengeance swing. Boom! <laughs> nice. We're just going to sell these things because we need the stuff from them. Cruelty support. Now the temptation is on the next level is to take that thing that said, hey, all your strike skills hit one more extra person. Well, if that's the case, then we can kind of take care, get rid of this. 
does two more people, but it, if we take care, get rid of this and find a better support gem, that we so we'd still be able to do the thing where it randomly targets an extra uh, bad guy. The thing is, we could actually um, let's transmute this thing up. Ooh, we get spreads caustic and chest is one level higher. So let's open that up. And I was saying was, oh, we got an orb of fusing. Got a lot of stuff out of this. There we go. We'll take that. Um, if we take that skill point, we could get rid of that and we could get a better, more damage. Now, it's a little tricky because it's kind of, you know, it, it's only one versus two. So it's, I don't know. We can do it. Depends on what we, um, what we'll do is, oh, I don't think there's an, a penalty too. So, cause this does the penalty of 11% less damage. Um, so that's interesting. So we get rid of that penalty too. So it's going to be hard to beat that. But we should probably take it. And it would help for our single target damage because then we wouldn't have that penalty on bosses. So how close are we getting to full? Pretty full. One hander, wood splitter. Let's take, can we take the wood splitter? No, we'd have to drop one of these. Let's drop this one and take the wood splitter and we'll identify it. Vengeance is kind of nice because then I can just stand there and it, it just hits back at people. But let's see what this does. We'd have to uh, replace this. going to be hard to do. 1939, there's no way. No, I don't see enough things on there that would actually warrant using it. I'll take that armor scrap. And away we go. I'm tempted to go back to town. Oh, an orb of chance. Very nice. We're starting to get better and better loot. So nice to be able to just smash stuff. Ooh, a colossal. Let's identify that and see what we get. Gains one charge when you when you are hit by an enemy, so it gains a charge back additionally instead of just having to kill. Not bad. Let's re-roll this and see what we get. <laughs> oh boy. Charge grants immunity to shock. Remove curse. Let's do that. Now I have to remember. Oops. I have to remember that that's my anti bleed. If I'm bleeding, I can press S. Get anti bleed on there. The other one does what? Shock? Let's see. Grants immunity to shock. If I'm getting shocked a lot by enemies. Oh, did I break that open accidentally? I think I did. Please believe, guys. Okay. All those extra attacks are so nice, though. Jeweler's Orb. Superior Giant Blast. The Superior we're going to hold on to for, some, for another reason. Now, here's the thing. This is actually worth going back to town for because that's a... That's a re-roll. There's a lot, enough loot around here. We're just going to go back to town and sell real quick. And again, if you like this content, just hit like or um, subscribe or comment. That way I know I'm going down the right path. But I, I have fun with this anyway, so. You're right. Sell. We're just going to sell this stuff. And should we sell it identified or we should sell it like that? Let's, uh, let's identify it. That way you get more re-roll things. We like those. So we're going to identify everything. Cool, cool. And we'll even identify this. It might be better than what we have. Let's see. 30 that. So we could give up the generation and the mana per kill. But we get back dexterity, intelligence, strength, global critical strike, life, mana, five... Ah, we're going to do it. But I can't do it yet. Except. Now, we're going to do it, but it, but if we notice that mana becomes an issue, we're going to swap swap back out of that. Let's go to our... Uh, let's go into our stash. We're going to get rid of all this stuff. Now we have two fusings. That's nice. Now this, we're going to store... 
in these because once we get up to 40 total quality we can turn them all in and get a special item and this just goes up here plus two would turn it in get a third we could actually do that right now let's do it that would mean we would get rid of our bleed one but that's okay I'm not too afraid of bleeds because this gets rid of our bleeds anyways every three uh, seconds or so <laughs> sometimes not quick enough and we get another one let's up let's upgrade it and see what we get so there's lots of uh upgrades and see what you get type of things going on reduced amount recovery increased recovery rate so we get 500 back in a second and a half and 50 percent of the recovery is applied instantly well, that's an interesting that's a little more of a, like a panic flask we we're like you know what we should probably uh do that and you know we're about to die hit it a couple times or once or take that we'll sell that and that's a three-year for the thing take the scrap we're already getting a lot of stuff back so let's go find this guy I think it's down this way. I don't know why, but I... Well, that's a lot of experience right there. Gold amulet's interesting, but uh, that one helps you find magic stuff more often. But uh, in Ruthless, that's really good to have um, magic find because you need... You find items, but you need um, magic and... Um, rare items and unique items way more than you know they're so rare that the ability to help you find them look at the, look at all these guys all over because of my uh my range and my uh area of effect i can really do a lot of damage on these guys pretty cool amber i think that's going to be uh fire no strength i haven't noticed 34 another uh possible uh item to roll with this one gave us shards it's okay it's something in the end game you'll be doing all kinds of crazy stuff you'll be the neat thing about the end game in path of exiles is uh this is a bit of a spoiler so don't listen for the next minute if you don't want to hear this but um there's an entire just like this this skill tree there's an entire skill tree for the end game which lets you craft your end game, end game into the type of end game that you want. If you like a particular feature, you can accentuate that and you can even block other parts of the end game that you don't like. So there's a lot you can do to it. Really, really customize the end game to make it uh, it's just a lot more fun. There's two things we have to go to. We have to we have to go to Fairgraves and I don't think you have to click him to get the quest. If you have his quest item, even if you don't have the quest, he'll still be happy with you. Can we jump all the way over there? Come on, let's jump. We can't do it. Can I jump over there? Yes. Pretty cool. Oh, we got another level. There's the saw fight that we needed. We're going to level up our gems. And then let's find out how much leveling up all these. Now the slam won't matter, the vitality, the life gain won't matter, the faster attacks probably does a little. Went up a little bit. We can look at the video and just go back a little bit. You can press back by using the arrow keys or the J, K, and L keys. And then the keys right below it are the comma and the period lets you go frame by frame when you're reviewing YouTube videos. So that's really helpful as well. Let's go back over here jumping around I love leap slam so we got the saw fight uh, the fiery dust can't go there yet because there's a little cut through so we're gonna go back over here now we have a choice too though let's turn this in and get that part out of the way we're gonna go to town and find out what our choices are you have stormatic soul fight yep you are dash there we go now it gives us the Telk, which we're going to use to burn our way through a part. All right. So let's go back to town real quick. And that's where we got to go to burn through in the sewers, but we're going to go to town. We're going to sell off this stuff. Let's go talk to 
Rikor? Yep, Rikor. The Gemling Queen, you've been tread carefully. I will. Yes. Oh, we're gonna identify that so we get the alteration shards instead of the transmute shards. There's a, another chromatic. Beautiful. See you. And it looks like we have another one of these as backup. So we'll just stick that in the middle there as a reminder. Control click this into our affinity tab for psych uh, for currency. And we haven't been having an issue with this, so let's put it right here for now. We haven't had an issue with our mana yet, so let's put it away. And away we go. Now, what? <sighs> Support yes. gems. Not sell. Buy. No real support gems here, but Bye. the other guy has support gems. If we got rid of that, it would be a red support gem. Back in Lion Eyes Watch, we're going to go to Nessa, I think. What's her name? It's a slow load screen. I think they've changed something that on the loads that doesn't load as quick as it used to back in the day. Hello. Let's find out what we want to do. Probably because I kind of want to turn this into a cyclone build build um i want to do a support like a melee support oops ancestral call no chance to bleed life gain on hit added fire no melee splash damage that's a strike skill supports melee attack strike aoe maim Life tap. No. Where was it? Not that one. Where'd it go? Hmm. Here. Ruthless. No. No. Chance to bleed. Two. The splash isn't what I really want. I want stuff to just do more damage. We could just do this for now for fun. We will. This adds 29% of my physical damage as extra fire damage. Don't know if that's going to really cut it, because I'm not improving my fire damage a lot, even though I have the Molten Strike, but, uh, hmm, Splash, no. We might just stick with this. Yeah, we could just stick with this. Aim support, bleed, no. We don't really have any good other uh, options right now, so let's find out. Now that also means I could just take the one additional, you know, nearby item, uh, or enemy. That'd be fine to take that right now. But let's see what else we could get. Uh, five percent attack speed per enemy close to you. That'd be kind of nice. Are intimidated, but over here there's an interesting one. Uh, strike deals splash damage to nearby surrounding targets. Uh, remove damaging elements. Uh, non val strikes. That's another one that does that similar thing. So where can we go? What about two-handed? Just two-handed stuff. We could also go into defense by going this way and up our defenses. I think here is two-handed stuff as well. Let's let's get more damage. I want to have fun. So damage. 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 Increase stun rate. 5% chance to deal double damage, 10% chance to double stun duration, 25%, and then what is this one? 15%. This is all about stunning stuff. Attacks with two-handed, deals increase hits and ailments, ruthless hits, intimidate the enemies. This is just all two-handed stuff, so... Two-handed with stuns, though, so I'm shooting for more along the lines of just, I want flat-out damage and smash them and not stun them. I just want them dead. So what about this? Something like this? More attack speed? Yeah, let's go this way. This is more fun. Let's go here. And let's see what that does. We're just going for fun. Not perfect op optimization. 1219 from 1197. We're just going for damage. <laughs> and once we start the new league, I'll do a really more optimized build. 
but this is just one for fun. And it's it's uh, not hardcore, so I mean, if you die, it's not the end of the world. And if you're dying too much, just take a little more life. There's life nodes that we could find on there that make us have more life or stuff like that too. So, so we just use that tout to open this up, that little blockage. And that allows us to get up this way. And if we look at the map now, we're over here. And if we click these things, it wants us to go there. And here's somebody to kill too. So there's somebody in this map that we have to take out. It's usually right up here. If we just go right this way, kind of north, northwest-ish. We're in monster level 29 and we're level 33. It's nice to be able to just crush stuff like that. Even, even my totem is carrying that big stick, too. Look at that. He just whacks people. <laughs> he does fine, even. Nice. There should be a bad guy right over here. Right up here. See that little X? This guy can be a little tricky. But we have a lot of um, uh, resistances as far as fire. Yeah, we we're able to just tank those hits. Coral ring is life. That a two tone ring is is two of the resistances on the same item, but at a lesser result. That you know, before we could get like a ring that uh, was plus twenty fire resistance, but this one gives us plus twelve of each if you wanted to go that route. And we'll turn this in and that in. And we'll just keep on trucking easy stuff. Pretty cool. We're hitting these guys pretty hard. Just crushing them down. There's no chances. I think you could even do like a life gain on hit with this. So I could put a life gain on hit but right here and link it so that when he hits back with his vengeance, it actually heals you as well. <laughs> this is neat stuff you can do. Let's go up here. We'll take a quick look where we went, which one it happened to pick. Oh, it went over here. So we know that if we went back out there, the other place. Let's go to the other one real quick, because I think that's where we really want to go next anyways. So it must be over to the right, we'll assume. Wow, I'm just walking and it's just a... Uh... Oh, I didn't get a hit on him. Target him quick enough. I think they're actually changing how those work in the... In the upcoming league so that they stay around longer and do what they're supposed to because they're supposed to like make everything else that they touch and come across um, harder and more interesting and the current AI for those ghostly tormentor things do doesn't really work that great so it's going to be smarter better more interesting tormentors Right now they're not they're not that cool. I mean they're cool, but they're not they're not as cool as they could be, so they're gonna they're gonna up the coolness level of those things. Uh is it right over here? Yes it is. So we knew it was off to the right of that somewhere. The Imperial Gardens. It's a lot of there's a lot around in this area. So we're gonna go to the I usually go right to the left as soon as I get in here because I'm looking for a plum. I'm looking for the next um Ascendancy. See how it says solve the ascendancy? We're going to do that one real quick because I haven't done it here yet on this uh, character. And once you do the ascendancies, you don't have to do them in the same league, in the same type again, over and over again. So that's kind of nice. We'll upgrade our pride. Do a little more damage. Pride is an aura that we use. It's going to be right around here. Also up in this corner is usually the, um, the whatchamacallit, the, um, the, uh, trial, a little mini trial. It's up over here somewhere. Now, see those guys, those spiky things on death? You don't have a lot of armor. They can kill you, because they'll, a lot of times it'll be a bunch all around you that die at once. And those porcupines all die and they explode with spikes. 
Well, it's not good. But me, I've got armor, and I just go boom, and I just kill them, and they can't kill me because a uh, marauder is a pretty strong character. As long as you have the armor. See, oh, these are blue boys. So let's see what they, they do. Let's see if they hurt us. No. Oh, ooh, they took half my health away when they died. So imagine if you didn't have any armor. Somebody's gonna go like that. One shot them all. They explode and. Boom, you're dead. <laughs> Looks on over that. Ah, there's the plum that we need for that guy. Uh, bring it to uh, in the Swig of Hope in the docks area. Ooh, looks at that. That red thing means it's a um, uh, Val side area, so we're going to get that. Gosh, that guy, this guy's getting so powerful for this. Let's go in here. And he's going to get even more powerful in a second, which is going to be nuts. Oh, we should have got more accuracy because we're going to do our ascendancy pretty quick here. Let's go find the fun stuff at the end of this little Val side area. And not only that, but they're improving Val side areas in the next... Uh, I'll leave that portal scroll there. In the next patch slash league. I think you're going to be able to re-roll them. Ooh, a dexterity item. Not bad, but we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll hang on to that for the... Oh, for fun. Let's drop this down and take out this little mini boss. Oh, something good dropped. So what was that? A four link. We've heard that sound before. We'll take that to sell it. We don't want to sell any of this, but we want to open up this because this is where the Val items are. Val means it's going to be corrupted. Now we get a Val flame. You can't buy these anywhere. So this is the only place you can find a Val. See how it has that secondary effect? That's a whole another spell on top of a spell. Or skill. Val Reap. I'm looking for Val Cyclone to be okay, but even the Val Cyclone can be a little deadly to use on yourself, so. And an axe, a one hander though. But it's corrupted. That means I can't really do much to it. I can't re roll it. You might be able to change the colors. But there's a lot of stuff you can't do to these corrupted items. It's kind of like this is how it is. If you really want it, go ahead and use it. But there we go. Sometimes they're really good. Let's go. They can have extra stats. Um, a lot of people at the end of the league, they they gamble on their items and they just foul them because it could just turn it into nothing. It could blank it out or it might have a small chance of improving it greatly. Ooh, Val Orb. That's a, that, there we go. Those are good for the uh, mapping in the end game. So I'm going to save that. They're like a currency used for for that and other things but well there's our porcupine guys that I really don't care about I mean I care about them it's just that I don't have to worry about them in that sense so where are we going we're going to there's a library that we have to find let's see if we... Ooh, we'll take that there should be a library maybe like up here I want to get to that because there we go there should be a, whatchamacallit, too, in here for it, a, um, a waypoint. And there's side quests. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Coral ring just dropped. I don't care about that for now. Ooh, look at all these guys. Ooh, this is the one that, it's a skeletal shrine. If you click it, now we can, if we kill something, we get skeletons back. But only for, like, 40 seconds. In the end game, you can actually make it where you get improved duration of uh, shrines, all kinds of things. So it can really compound, and all of a sudden you can end up with quite a big effect from shrines in your mapping experience. It's an interesting thing to do. Uh, I see that wisdom scroll. We're just going to skip by it. I don't mind. Just smashing things down. I'm going to hold on to that point to spend for a second because I actually might want it. Ooh, some class miss. We'll take that. Uh-oh. We'll take that. Let's see if we can actually take it. We'll take that and that. These are four linked. We only have this, but it's only a one red. So, I mean, literally, I could put it over there. And it wouldn't even matter what these are, these links. This is four linked. It's a dex inth item, so it's going to be very difficult to roll some red items. Strength is red. Some red sockets. So, that's interesting. Let's see what it is. And we'll compare it to what we have on. Right now we have cold resistance, 
crafted on there. We get more max life and mana. We get some damage. Does our other ones have... No, so we can actually craft um, that to it. This is probably better for us. We'll put it over there. We want to hang on to these. And we'll identify that. Yeah. We'll identify all this. Okay. Moving on. We'll uh, upgrade these. I want to hold on to this because I'm going to do a... Um, we're going to ascend. And I might want to spend my points differently once I ascend. I probably will. There's something really good on the tree that I want to use it on. Looks like right over here is... Oh, not this way. Right over this way is... The librarian guy. He's like... He's either up there... That vengeance is nice. There should be a waypoint next to the librarian. Come on, where is he? Did I miss him? Is he right up there? Oh, we're down here already, so let's go look around. I'll take that whetstone. Large hybrid flask. A hybrid flask is a little bit of both. You can see it right there. It does life and mana. God, our, our vengeance is just hitting back with like a truck so if you want to get both life and mana back at the same time you could do that as well just another option for you everything has you know there's a problem with and it tries to give you different solutions that you if you want to use it you can do it and there's so many ways oh there he is this is the librarian guy he actually has four spells let's see if he has them yet I don't think so we got to unlock him yeah, we gotta unlock him. And then he'll let us in. My in here, we gotta get in there. So we're gonna go look around I for a candle on a wall. System. Let's go find it. And it's usually on the north side of a wall. I don't see it here. There should be a candle, a lit candle is the indicator for it. And let's go find it. I'll take that armor scrap. Could be along this wall too though. It might even show on the map. I've never paid too much attention. Let's pay attention and find out what it really is. It's around here somewhere though. Thing is that it'll look kind of like that, but it'll be on a wall and you click it and it opens up the Ooh, they, we needed this. This is our ability to re-roll that uh, belt that we had. Let's kill this guy real quick. Nice. Okay. Weeping Essence. I'm not sure what the weeping one does. We'll find out. There's like a dozen different, more than that, maybe 15 different um, essences. This one does lightning. So weeping is lightning, I think. That's okay. We'll just add some It'll say on armor, on belts, it'll add lightning resistance to our belt that we're going to roll. That's fine with me. Uh, what do we have on our belt right now? An increased attack damage. So let's do that. Let's go find out what we can do, but not right now. We'll just hang on to that item. But we needed that item to, you know, have a fun roll on that. Now, where is the... Not here. I don't see it could be up there and I missed it. That's usually a very popular spot for it to be on right through here. On the wall there. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the stuff we just dropped. I don't see them. I'm looking for that thing. Sometimes it's down here as well. I don't see it here. They usually don't put it along a wall like this because then you couldn't see the wall, so it's always on like a, a wall that you can actually see. Sometimes it'll be to, to the left down here a long ways away. Let's see. I'm just looking. Look at, there it is. Loose candle. Opens up the door. We're going into the archives. He wants us to find four golden pages. So don't miss any, uh, as we're looking around, we'll 
try not to miss any of them. And we're getting the, we're getting the EXP and we're getting stuff and we're getting the claw that we're gonna sell. That's for a chromatic. And we're full. Let's go back to town real quick. We're gonna sell all this stuff off. Pretty relaxing, easy gameplay. There's no rush. Easy stuff. What's up? What's this guy doing? That's kind of interesting. We're just selling all this. Good, good, good. We had to do... This is technically better than that. But we lose a lot of resistances, you know. It's too many resistances to lose. I'm going to sell this. What's going on? Even though I can replace one of them. We're getting... I'll take a look at our defenses. See, our defenses are going back down again. I don't, I don't want that to happen. Especially after we're going to be re-rolling our belt here in a second. So let's just sell. What's going on? It's okay. Bring me back something. What did he give us? Ooh, what do we got here? Cyclone! Ooh, the moment of truth here. Interesting. Now, Cyclone, I know that I want... I want faster attacks. So we're going to do this right now. We're going to take Cyclone over all these other different things, all these stuff, Ancestral, all this. We're going to put that there. Okay, so what can we do with this? We've got a four link up here, and we've got this item. Interesting. Now, Vengeance is fine, and the faster attacks isn't that important, but we need a red slot. So let's go like this, put it down there. It would be nice if these were linked. Nice if this stuff was linked, but we're shooting for this. Co our leap slam. We want leap slam with um, a green slot. So let's see if we can do that. We're gonna put this here. We're gonna take the faster attacks off for a second. Oh, because faster attacks we're gonna put with our cyclone. Blind support is really really optional. We'll just stick that over there for a second. So we've got cyclone there we want more damage for our cyclone so we're going to get our supports for that too we don't have any supports but what are we missing now leap slam could go here we need a faster leap slam so we need a red and a green linked let's find out what we do we could do it on these gloves let's find out if we can do it let's see if we can get lucky now these gloves I think they could pretty much roll any any stat on there. Let's go take a look if we can roll an extra green, like an extra red green type thing. Here we go. No, no, uh, no. We need a red. Nope. No. Well, this is looking bad. Oh, good enough. We'll stop right there. We'll put the vengeance on here. We'll put. That, there, and the faster, uh, the leap slam, there. That takes care of that for now. And now we've got our Cyclone 4 link thing that we can work on up here, which is A, faster attacks, which should be right here. I, knew I wanted that. So now we got faster attacks. Uh, we want life gain on hit on this one. Where is it? There it is. We probably want to work on another one of these but this is okay for now let's go see if we get any more um yes. any more spells that we've unlocked we do any support spells though not sip sup support spells those are not probably support somehow sup just got in there now so we're gonna go you. over we don't we don't have too much time though but i think we've unlocked the uh the, whatchamacallit, the path. Let's see, we're going to go back to Act 1, and we're going to type in support. It would be nice if there was a drop-down list on this, uh, this purchase, this right here. How about a drop-down list of previous, uh, previous keys there? That would be nice. Stun support. Knockback. Melee splash. But that, I think it only... I'll prove this. Let's find out right now. Cost an orb, but we're just going to prove it. 
I think it requires a strike skill, and this isn't strike. It's a channeling, movement, AoE, attack, melee. So if I put this here, see how it doesn't light up? That doesn't work with melee splash support. So whatever, we'll just go like that. Ancestral Call, that's another strike, so that's a no-go. Added fire damage, we could do that, but I don't want to. Bleed, life gain on hit we've got. We're going to put another one on just to work on another one in the background. Knockback, no. Stun, no. Life tap, no. Earthbreaker, no, no, no. Looks like maybe just bleed. Where was the bleed? Stun, and... Chance to bleed, okay. Sparta Attack deals 8 extra, 8 to 12 at this level, at level 10. Sparta Attacks have a 25% ch chance to bleed, and Supported Attacks deal 9% more damage with bleeding. Okay, it's something. We'll put it right there. There's ways we can improve that as well. Life Gate on a hit, we'll put over here. Now we've got a spell or a skill called um, uh, <laughs> oh, Cyclone. And I'll show you how that works in a second. And we'll go back to Act 3. We'll go in here. And I think we can just pick up this, which we needed to sell. Oh, we're on the um, this thing. Now, life of uh, this thing. We don't want to replace this quite yet. This right here, the uh, Molten Strike. But we could test it out. We could test out our Cyclone by going like this. And more than likely, it's not going to be as good as we want it to be yet. Because it's just beginning out. It's still only level, what, uh, level 2. Um, there's a lot of reasons. We're not designed for it quite yet. So uh, we're getting there. Let's see if we can just do it for fun, though. I'll take the book stand. And let's see if we can find a creature that does it. We still have lifespan, it bleeds them, it's going to do a lot of stuff. Let's identify this thing and find out what it's all about. Ignites, contains rare items, contains six additional items, quantity of items. So this is a lot of items. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. And we're going to use our uh, spin, Cyclone, for the first time. Cyclone, Cyclone, Cyclone. Well, that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> oh, gosh, oh, and more. Tons of stuff. Boots, scroll, scroll, and chromatic. Pretty cool. So it's making it easier to see stuff quicker. And sure enough, we gotta go sell again. Yeesh. Oh boy, that's a that, that's a uh, quest item. We didn't do this. Let's go back to town real quick. This isn't. You know what? We're just gonna go like this, and we're gonna put our gonna re, you know reverse it. F does. Molten Strike now, and this just does this. Now I can just right-click. I can push space to speed up. Let's go find it. Let's kill a little bit more stuff before we go to back to town. It's too exciting. <laughs> We're hitting pretty hard. Pretty hard. Nice, nice, nice. Just chunking through these guys. A little less against that guy. But pretty decent. Decent for not being um, where we're supposed to be yet, really. And let's go back to town and clear out our inventory because it's a bunch of junk, junk in there again. We'll identify it. Identify, identify, identify. And sell. Not sell. Sell up here. Still breathing, eh? Yeah, I'm still breathing. Any movement speed? 15. Oh boy, this is going to possibly replace this. Now I can put this over here. This over here, this thing doesn't really matter. We'll put it over here for now. Blind support doesn't really matter. So this is a totally optional item. So we just compare it one to one. I look at the number of items. Prefix, prefix, prefix. So we can't add anything to it. So we'd lose some life. But um, we, it has, on the left, it says fire and lightning. Okay. We get fire and cold back and a little bit more movement speed. And some regen, and some more armor, and some more 
Yeah, across the board, I think we're just going to go for it. And it's always a good idea just to check what were our defenses now. So lightning is becoming an issue that we think about. We could use a scouring gem and put lightning on, say, something like that instead of cold if we are too much. But right now we're, we're fine. Can I put something on that now? Let's go sell these things. What's up? And we're in good shape. Uh, we'll sell that too. And Stay let's go out of the shadows. put this stuff away. We'll put these down at the bottom. And put all these away. It's a lot of different currency already. Too much. Ooh, that was a uh, divination card. You collect those and then you get the rewards for them. Not yet, though. Does he want to give us a reward? Maybe. Nope, not yet. Let's go back in there and get those other pages. Oh, boy. Yeah, more speed definitely helps, especially with um, Cyclone, because Cyclone actually slows us down when we use it. 30% uh, lose less movement speed when we use it. So it's, uh, you know... It's, but you can make up for that with the, um, with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, speed movement potions. Pretty cool. We just, we're just moving along. The other dif the difference is you're actually moving through here. I'm not, I'm not pausing to fight. I can fight now with one hand. I don't have to worry about, um, oh, we'll get our damage back up. Our damage was off. So we're going to get more damage on there. We could use Pride right now. We're using Herald of Ash, which is not ideal. So let's see if we could use Pride instead. Let's switch to Pride. Can we use this? I wonder. Oh, we have red. We have extra red spot. Vitality, Steel Skin, Herald of Ash. Let's see if we could use Pride instead of that. This one does... Uh, nearby enemies take 15% more, and it, as we if we stay closer to them, it goes up to 31% more damage. More, not increased. <laughs> it's a big, big difference. It's better, <laughs> in a good way. Life gain on hit. Let's see, our life gain on hit is 20 per hit. We hit so often with um with this. Our regen is good enough there. See, I'm looking at my mana as I spin around. It's still plenty. And the neat thing is if we stay longer next to something, our hits get stronger and stronger and stronger. So it really starts to synergize. Normally, you'd, you know, you'd have to build yourself a little bit better for this, but we're hit. We're doing some nice hits already. I'm not going to pick up that armor scrap. I want to get some stuff going now. Oops, I didn't want to pick up whatever that was that thing. I want to pick up that right there. I'll grab that armor scrap. What is it? Two, rem two remaining. Take that one. And there's one over here. And I think we can just go to town to portal back quicker. Or we could just go like this. There we go. Wish escape to character screen and do it that way and we're going to go to him right here in act three the library he's right over here there we go now what do we get we get to select one of these life leech that's an interesting thing you know leech life from something as a support gem fortify this is this is actually kind of cool think of this every time we hit something we could uh, fortify ourselves. Melee hits from supported skills. Melee hits from supported skills fortify you. Supported skills deal 10% more damage with elements. I mean, supported skills uh, do 10% more melee damage. That's very interesting. Fortify also uh, protects us from more physical damage to it. it. It's a very nice thing, to say the least. 
The thing is, with Fortify, they actually get more and more fortification as you're doing it. It builds up. you got to hit, hit pretty hard. So it's a little hard to hit with um, uh, Cyclone. But it's still doable. Very doable. Arrogant support. Nah, we don't want to do that. Increased duration. That's interesting, but no. Pulverize. Pulverize support skills have a 25% increased area of effect. Supported skills have 15% less attack speed. That sucks. And more... So they, they spin around less, but they do more melee damage. That's tempting because this is a physical damage spell by far. Impale support is interesting too. That That's a good one for us. And Bloodthirst. Supported skills cannot be triggered. Oh, no. Skills added. Support. Supported attacks deal added physical damage with weapons equal to 2% of your maximum life while on low life. That's uh, a little weird. Pulverize or forti uh, Fortify. Let's go ahead and put Fortify on here and X. Now if we sub the chance to bleed, I think I want to go with this. Let's do it and see what happens to our 1379 40, 1400 and we get fortified and I don't have to worry about the bleed stuff. The bleed thing we'll put over here for now and level it just in case. We're in good shape. Herald of Ash will store away. We're making progress now. We're going to get um, whatchamacallits too. Now look at all these different things you can buy from them. All the different support gems. These are all... Oops. I always, I always hit U instead of or the I instead of the P. Now you can come to this guy and just buy stuff from him here. These are the skills generally. These are the supports. The so supports are the second one, the second tab. Um, what do we have? We have faster attacks, which I really like. Is there anything better than faster attacks for a support gem for this? There probably is, but it's tough to find it. Accuracy that might be interesting. Blind. Nova, blah, blah, blah. Deadly, no. Point black. Culling strike is a tempting one. That's nice. At 10% or lower, if you just touch the enemy, it'll it'll kill them. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Faster projectiles. Fork. Ah, a lot of these aren't going to be the stuff that we want. That's okay. But you can look over these and try stuff out to your... Remember. I guess we're doing fine. So uh, let's uh, find out where we have to go. Looks like we have to go back to the docks for a second. And there he is. And what does he drop? It's a ring. Currently I have a cold ring and a max life. Max life. Let's go with the max life. Let's see if it's better. Well, he didn't like that stuff. Let's identify it and find out compare it. And the dex would be better than intelligence, but that has ours has increased um, attack speed, which is just too too much to give up. I love attack speed. So we got that, and we're going to go on. And we're going to go over here. It wants us to go this way. So let's do it. An hour and 33 minutes in. Pretty cool. And let's go find out where we have to go. We have to travel to the Lunaris Temple. We can just spin right through these guys. Put this down and we can hit even harder and more. So I mean it's really really safe. Pretty easy. We can kind of move while we do it. The easy stuff. Gotta watch out for this fight up here. Let's see what this fight up here does as a uh, cyclone. Let's drop that down and we'll spin. I think it was a little bit better, but not much. It was a little bit better. Yeah, see, we're not hitting him as hard right here. We were hitting the guy. We were doing a little bit better with Molten Strike. But that will get... Oh, sorry. Oh, we're out of mana. Interesting. So we actually used enough mana there. My place is at God's side. 
So it's a little bit better with Molten Strike right now, but um, we're not gonna we're gonna we're gonna see if we can improve our Cyclone. Should be right up here somewhere. So nice to not look. I mean, our health just comes back so often because we're hitting a lot with Cyclone. That's a nice four link or four socket. There's our Cyclone getting a little better now. Or, yeah, it's going to go up as soon as we can start leveling it more. Now, the thing is, would, we, would it be at the end of the world if we used our. We could just pop it back over there and continue to level it. And then press that there. I just wanted to use it. You know, it's fun. Is this the way? Let's see. I don't think so. It is. Okay. This one is down into the... Ooh, we get one of these. We can roll our uh, our next belt. Yeah, this is just... It's just easier right now because it's leveled and everything, so... Weeping does on our belt would do increased flash recovery. That's kind of lame. Um, physical damage, attack, leeched his life. Eh, either way, if we get a nice weapon, we'll roll it and see what happens. On the next um, act, we'll we'll find a nice two-handed weapon and we'll roll it, and we'll see what we get out of that. Iron ring. Uh, what do we have? We have a uh, cold ring. Our cold. Defenses at 79, so we kind of need those. Be fun to have this. Let's see what it. Let's see what it gives us. It's really that much better than our crappy ring that we have on right now. Our ring does some extra damage as well. We'll just keep on going. But again, this is all easy stuff. If you're playing along at what we got two, really. Very rare to get two this early on. Two in the same map. There we go. We'll take the copper plate and the whispering S. This one does physical damage. This is too good to pass up. We'll put it on our um, weapon. Yeah, this is too. Even the oh, the reflect. I don't want reflect. So this we'll use on our belt. This we'll use on a weapon. We gotta use that on a belt too. Oh boy. Running along, running along. We can always use this by pressing F and just steering our way. Oh, gotta pick this up. Ooh. And where's the M the home or the home? <laughs> I think it's over here. Is this the way? There should be a little cut through. Oh, this is the what you call it guy, a little mini boss. Look at our health go right back up. Amber Amulet. Let's find out what we get for it. And that's the neat thing. As you're playing along, you know, you constantly get things. So right away I see that 5 to 9 additional physical damage. That is pretty nice, actually. So much so that I might want to take it. Let's, uh, let's see if we put it on. We can always... The other thing is we can actually craft on this one as well. So we can craft more stuff to it. First off, we'll look at what it does to our defenses nothing now we'll look at what it does to our offenses uh and we'll, we'll look at it as as cyclone a little 50 more we'll roll with it why not so we can go craft on that which means we could craft probably lightning and get our lightning resistances up we have two points to spend do we have our on our offenses almost to full hit too for accuracy Cruelty support doesn't matter but well that vengeance is just powerful oh, there's a waypoint let's hit town real quick sell a bunch of this stuff. Let's try to roll our items as well. 
Okay. How you doing? I'm okay. Nope. Nope. And let's go over here. Do anything I would. And we want to roll this first. Now that belt will just be lightning resistance. Oh, that's kind of nice. Let's see what happens. Now we can craft on that because it only has four items on it. Let's compare it. it has more maximum mana. Has energy shield, lightning, lightning, and we could craft on it. it. Has more life. I think our other one's better, so we're just going to sell that. We have another. Yeah, we have another belt right here. Let's do this belt. Not this one. We're going to save this for a weapon in the next act. Let's compare these two. Nah. That's okay, though. Sell? You're looking sharp. Well, thank you. Bring me back something nice, huh? And just like that. Let's take a quick look in here. There is something that I want. This. The global accuracy, global accuracy, and that one. Seems weird, but I do want it. And then I want the uh, global accuracy against rare, uh, against uniques. I hope I wish that was rares and uniques. Dexterity. Yeah. Equal to my intelligence. <laughs> Let's see, my intelligence is. Only 72, that would be terrible. At close range, 50% accuracy at close range, because with my um, my Cyclone, I'm usually close range, so I definitely want all four of these. So, but we'll take them in a second just to show you what it does, what, what, uh, what, what it does with our, how it synergizes with our subclasses. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, let's put away this other junk gonna put this away and we'll store this in our weird amulet section that we're creating by accident let's find out where we got to go I think it's right back here and down to the second level I think we're getting really close to being able to unlock the subclass too it should be around here somewhere I think it's there. We'll, we'll double check where it is. Oh, decorative axe. It's only a one-hander, though. That is for a chromatic. And I'm just going to jump across on these guys, smash these guys down. I'm just going to run to catch up to him with our... Oops. Wrong way. Fine piety. Ooh. A brass maw four linked. That's a four link as well, so that's interesting. That's what we're going to do with that thing. Let's go ahead and roll this one. It's a two hander. Now, this one is 20% chance to block. That's a war staff, too, so let's do it. Might get something fun. Let's compare it 29% increased physical. The other one does 72%. This has accuracy, attack chance to bleed. This is probably not good. This would be a good, um, a better flame, uh, molten strike because of the elemental damage thing. But in general, I don't think this is going to be better. I mean, if we were to just replace it and look at this right here, considerably less. We're not going to go with that. It's okay. Uh, oh, did I go the wrong way? Yes, I did. We're in a level 30 at 35. We're way over level. We gotta start ignoring stuff and just making progress. Oh, another four item, four linked item, but it's all blue, blue, blue. What are the other stuff? A turquoise amulet. Nice, but colossal. So much stuff. <laughs> Let's identify that and that. Compare it. Negative. What do we have right now? We have this one. A 350. Um, we can augment this. Let's just throw it on there. And roll. <laughs> and maybe we 
go, and away we go. And away we go. Gotta start ignoring these guys. The other cool thing is, um, with um, Cyclone, it uh, doesn't. You can just run right through things. You know, you're not going to get blocked by them. It kind of, it's kind of, especially in um. Oop! I gotta get some health potion or mana. So I definitely need more mana back. Using more mana that way, so we would lose a little bit of this, but it might be worth getting a mana potion back. Or even better, having that that mana regen. Um, taking a raw one and rolling it with our next uh, um, essence. That would be a thing to do. To hopefully get a, a good, nicely rolled, rare mana regen necklace. So we don't have to worry about mana as much. I just like it where I don't have to worry about stuff. I don't have to worry about stuff that's better. That's why I have life gain on hit. You know, I could sit there and sweat my, uh, my health and and uh, just do it that way and to use health potions that would be the most efficient thing to do you know but i don't want to <laughs> i just want to just cruise through things and i think this is a big map this i do remember this very big map Ooh, look at these guys the other guys are shooting through doors that wasn't very nice. Ooh, I'll take that transmute. We'll take that right over here, too. I mean, we've got life regen. We've got all kinds of things going. Look at that. For regening life. Pretty cool. Jumping over. That's another thing with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, leap slam. Holy cow. We got a lot of chances here at good items, guys. A lot of chances. It dropped double items on us. The belt, the belt. See, it dropped doubles of everything. Whatever that stat was on him. Okay. Oh, it mirrored the items. See how they're mirrored a little bit? Um, are they rerolled? Are they different? Are they perfectly identical? Wow. Wow. Very interesting. Okay. Let's find out what we're going to do here. 1469. Is this just arbitrarily better? No, but close. We're getting closer already. That's an interesting thing. And with the uh, that added accuracy down at the bottom, it might actually make it pretty close. Seven life per enemy killed. Increased physical, blah, 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 blah. Attack speed is nice. That is getting close to a, new, a better weapon. Four would be... We'd have to give up our molten strike completely at that point, but what else did we pick up? We pick up something else, too. This thing. That's no good. So let's just go to town real quick, sell all, the, sell all this stuff, and... What's up? Not much. Got all that for that. Pretty cool. Stay out of the shadows. Orbs of chance, it looks like. What do we get? Oh, yeah, we got a chance. Wow. And there we go. Let's sell these. That that Leap Slam is so nice. Oh, it looks like it didn't want to go that way. But it's okay. Just jump over here. Come on. Jump like you mean it. Oh, I guess it's way over here. So nice not to have to open the doors, though. Come on. I know the way is down through this way, sort of, kind of. Nope. K 
can't jump over that. Tried to. Can't jump over that. Here we go. Chop, 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 chop. Be nice if this is bigger. That's what we'll work on next. Ooh, a full plate. Very nice. It's decently sized. This is decent, but not that great. We're going to have to get, like, blood and sand. And I definitely want to get a uh, another regen. So our regen is a little bit faster on our mana, so I can sit there and use it really endlessly. Till then, it's not ideal that I have to use a, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, look at this guy. Wow, wow. Nice. Take that. Ooh, this might be an item worthwhile. We could always try to four link this to move our uh, four link over here too, so. Socketed melee gem, that's interesting. Adds that to damage. Here we go. I don't think this is gonna make cut at all. Not even close. <laughs> 469. Ooh, this is a, uh, whatchamacallit, a battle, a uh, boss battle. We're gonna click this thing real quick. Now we've unlocked lightning damage in our crafting bench, and I think she's right over You've here. Done your ancestors proud, Carter. Now here's your warrior's death. Okay. And I'm gonna use my uh my uh oh that even that runs out of my mana if I do it. I gotta actually use my mana <laughs> mana pot. <laughs> it's because I'm using pride, and that uses a lot of uh reserved a lot of our mana. But there's ways to fix that as too, as well. We'll get there. Where is she at? She's just walking around here. This is a relaxing fight. I'm not really sweating anything. I'm over leveled, but um, that's not really why I'm not really sweating it. It's because... Um, it's because... I've got, I do a lot of damage. I do a lot of damage, and I have life gain on hit. What did we get? Do we have room? Gauntlets, tower key, gauntlets, shield, colossal life. We'll see what that is. And do we go back? Let's see. Travel to the Siren and Cap. Let's just use this way. And we're going to sell a lot of this stuff, I assume. Maybe. Unless it's great. Alright, so 1400 life. Oh boy. This one does our insta recovery, but think of this. Yeah, this could do half of that instantly recovered. That's 250. That's not that much. This one does 1400 over three and a half seconds. Uh, removes 10% of your life from mana when used. Recovers additional 14% of flask of life recovery amount over 10 seconds while... Oh, we'll just toss it on there and see what happens. A lot to that one. We're just going to sell this one. And this we can't use because it has intelligence. And we don't have our intelligence up yet. We'll get there. What about these gloves compared to these gloves? Now, we'd have to go replace quite a bit. So we'd have to actually roll these or something. So let's see if it's worthwhile. No. And those are spell damage. No. We'll just sell these. Piety's off to meet the maker, is Looks like we're going to get a reward, too, from one of these guys. Him? Bring me back something. You have no. Uh, maybe this guy over here. Come on, somebody give Watch me yourself. something. Oh, there we go. And we're going to get another one right here as well. Tread carefully. But I want to find out where I missed our... Uh, it'll tell us right up here. Act 3. Not yet. Imperial Gardens. So I must have missed it when I was in there. But that's how you find out where it is. Um, I want to actually use... I don't want to sell this. I want to save it and turn it in for a set of three once I get there. Also, the likelihood of me finding a small flask is pretty low right now. I'm just going to toss that on the ground. That's okay. And then we'll throw these in here. We'll put this over here. And, oh, we're getting a little low on these. Got two. Getting a little low. One way we could get them back is, 
like this. We're going to sell not 27 of them, 12 of them. Watch this. Not there. <laughs> there you go. Two for one for those. Pretty Good cool. Luck to you. All right. Let's go to the Imperial Gardens. Wish there was a uh, uh, search function for this, too, because if you don't know it, I think it's right there. Right through here, maybe? Let's see if it says solve it here or not. Yeah, I did. Oh, I just didn't happen to run into it. Usually I do, and I just happen to not run into it. So it's okay. We'll find it. Not in the library. Usually right along this northern wall area. I think this is it. Yep. I just I just happen not to run into it. This is an easy one. All you do is run up, click it, and portal out. And portal right over here. Okay. Let's go grab our next level real quick. Just by uh, hunting something that'll give us a... Come on, something that'll give us some something. Oh, these guys will give us something. How oh, these blue guys will. Will they give us enough? Yep. Very nice. Oh, they even gave us a chromatic. Take it. Back because we're lazy. Not the topaz, that's a light ring. Let's do this. We just pick all that stuff up. We got four points to spend. Oddly enough, I haven't spent it because of a reason. Let's see. I click that and move. Ninety-one. Let's uh, let's get it. Let's get it up a little. The uh, our accuracy up a little bit. And our crit chance goes up, even though we're not really focused on crit yet. Ninety-three. So fourteen ninety. And here's the thing: our subclass is going to matter in a second going to add even more damage to us 1428 150 accuracy will put us at capped I hope and a unique enemy which I think we're going to be fighting pretty soon is going to um, our accuracy is going to be even higher but we don't need that quite yet let's see oh the close range let's do that apply Okay, this is an interesting strategy. So, uh, where do we go next? Oh, where do we go next? We uh, completed our thing. Let's sell this stuff off. There you go. Bring me back and, to oh, sell that too. Still Why didn't I do it? In. And we're going to complete Stay the lab. The That's what we're going to do right now. So, this is how we do lab. Never seen this. See how they're all all lit up? That means we can go into the Aspirants Plaza. We're going to get the waypoint. So now if you want to go back in here, you just click this. You don't have to go to Sar. You know, you don't have to go right here necessarily. This is all pretty cool stuff in here. Okay. Should she find you wanting death? Let's see if we can get that noise. I'm. It's a lot of uh, communication there. Loyalty and love of an empire. At level 33, we can enter in here. We can do this as many times as we want. If we are 55, we could do that one. Only at 75 does it start to cost anything. This is free to do. So we're going to activate it. And this is the beginning of how do you pick your subclass. Here we go. There's three stages to this. So we're looking for a way through. We're really strong. We don't really have to worry about dying too much. We have life gain on hit. We have a lot of armor. Decent. So we're going to be okay. We're going to level that up. Just have to make sure we have enough mana to keep swinging is all. Alright. So we could go down this way. And it looks like there's going to be some kind of um, a little puzzle to solve. And we'd open up this curious lockbox. Let's go do it for fun. 
but we'd have to sit there and walk this thing. See, we're going to have to walk this thing all the way over here. That's too much time. I don't want to deal with that. We're not going to do it. But there's different things you can unlock along the way. You can get more treasure. You can do a lot. So it's up to you if you wanna, really want to find the whole unlock everything in there as you go to the um, the final boss or or not. There's even things that make the final boss easier, which might be very important. If you're having a hard time with them, you might find something along the way that disables all the traps in the boss room or less damage from the boss or death, less helpers, all kinds of different things. So it depends on what you want to do. And while this map changes every day, uh, I'm sorry, every time you come into it, there's a general pattern to it every day that also changes. So on certain days, it might have a very, very short route to the app. See, this? this is pretty short already. This is on the first one. It's just boom, boom. Some days it might be a little bit longer. It might be two instead of uh, it might make you go up the here on some days. This is a pretty good short one so far. Might get really lucky and roll it where it's just like... The weary traveler draws close to the end of the path. The path. We'll unlock that. All resistances. They are very nice. And we can have a stash, so if we found a bunch of stuff, we can put it in here. Because you can't leave. If I, met, if I teleport out of, out of here, i got to start over from scratch at the very beginning. Which, you know, so it doesn't show the map that way, but... Here we go. We're going to enter and fight this guy our first try here. Some things that slumber. Now, I could use this and just sit there and spin around and hit him. Or I could use my other thing. We're gonna use the other one. Nobility is alive. There we go. And I'm just gonna try to do him this way. Just gonna sit there and face tank him. By the goddess. We'll see if I can actually face tank his actual hits. I think I can. I'm strong enough where I can just face tank his actual hit. We'll see if I can face tank the other one so that as he gets stronger. So we're one-third of the way done. We, we have to fight him uh, all the way till he's almost dead. Each chunk is a third of his life. But if I died here, I'd have to start all over again. But I can run it as many times as I want. We're in softcore, so we're not in hardcore. Yeah, let's go along. Ooh. And we're at level 36 in the... Oh, there we go. Some full chain. Now, that's interesting. Full plate has, at the top there, you see that it's a 308 ar 301 armor. But this one, it's four-linked. We needed that four-linked. So we're going to put it over here. It has a little lot less armor, but it has some energy shield. I think that's cool with me. So we're going to roll it and hopefully get some good rolls, some good stats on it. And we'll, have, we'll be able to move this over to our four-link. And then we'll have more flexibility with our weapon. We really did need that. We'll take that. And we'll keep on trucking. Well, we'll grab this little thing here. Sometimes you'll come to, like, not a dead end, but a blocked way where you actually have to get a certain key to continue on. But usually not on our first lab. This is called a lab. A lab run. And sometimes you'll come to a thing like this, and you'll look at the map right beforehand. This is Aspirant's Plaza, so we're really lucky. Now, if we found the other doorway, it would lead up here. But I don't want to go up there, but there might be something neat in there. But I just want to get to this part faster. Uh, so right there, when boom, boom. The time comes to strike, an emperor strikes without hesitation. Let's do to this. Doubt is to dance Let's put this... You know what? I'm going to upgrade this to a rare item. I'm going to use one of these expensive things. I'm going to roll it and roll it as rare. Here we go. So we're going to compare it to what we have on. Pretty much no matter what, we're going to use it, though. So we're going to use it. Uh, we'd be okay. So we're just going to put it over here for a second to use it once we get through this. But we can actually craft on it, too. So we can craft whatever our resistance is lowest. So we're in good shape. We're going to do that when we get back in town. And then we'll be able to move our four link over here. Eventually we won't even be using Molten Strike at all though. We probably shouldn't be using it right now even. When one defiles the yeah, let's use our other, let's use our uh, Cyclone for this part of the fight. 
let's do it this way. There we go. So I'm just doing that, and I'm just making sure we have enough mana. Pretty easy, guys. Pretty easy. Pretty safe. I just have to make sure I have mana. That's the only thing we're worrying about right now. It's a little slower, but it's safe. I'm hitting this guy a lot. Oh, I took. I was able to uh, tank that hit. We did get a life last, a small one, but it's a superior one. And I'm just taking a quick look at these. Nah. Here we go. The damage is so much lower on that because it's still, we got to develop, develop this skill more. I'm just going to switch back. I don't want to use Cyclone quite yet, but I can still develop it and all the stats with it. There we go. It was just took longer, so I, you know, I was sitting there going, blah, 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 blah. I was doing this, and I was hitting them, and it was nice and all, but I want to be able to hit them with big fireballs and just really crush them. We need more wisdom and portal scrolls too, so which are one and the same. I pretty much treat them as the same thing. This is nice to be able to um, jump through these things faster than you normally. Even my, let's see if I walk in this fire, can I actually? Oh, that's a, not bad. I got hit by something, but I can actually tank the fire a little bit. What's behind this door? I think good. Is there anything? Oh, I'd have to open up this lever door or something. Let's see what's in there. Oh, portal scroll. I'll take it. We'll put down a, a totem and just knock this guy out real quick. The problem is I've got I'm using my pride um, versus flames and let's gonna let's switch it over to our flame get rid of that pride so I don't have to worry about my um uh... oh it's back in our it's in our um uh... it's in our stash so we'll get to our stash and then we'll do that oh wait I got a problem here I could screw up I gotta get this back on <laughs> usually a good thing to have that bound so you can switch that back and forth I think it's Control X on me. Yeah, Control X. Or Shift X. Culling support. I'll take it. Ooh, a triple, uh, whatchamacallit. I'll even put it on there. I like culling support. It's nice to have to um, be able to damage somebody. Put that back on. See how that goes up? I'm going to pass uh, bypass this one. I'm going to look for the other door. Should be pretty close. Don't want to get hit by those kachoppers. See that? They kachop you. <laughs> and is the other door close by? And if you don't have enough life, you can just get more life nodes or whatever the case may be. We'll just pick up those. We'll even take this mana. Colossal mana. Let's see what it does. 350, 500. Moves 50% of mana recovery from life. I don't want that. But this one, sure enough, this is going to be the Aspirant. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's getting closer to him. The Fortify gem is nice because, um, you know, when we spin, we're getting, we're taking a lot less damage with that Fortify and all these different things, so it's a very safe play style when you're spinning. Yeah, that's uh, pretty easy. It'd be very hard for me to die to stuff this way. I look, I, there's, it's just a lot of defenses, especially with the life gain on life gain on hit and all that. Oh, come on, Let's take these guys out. But I like the ability to um, hit these guys and actually hit them. Looks like I gotta kill that guy to unlock the chest. Not going to be much in it because it was just a regular one. I didn't roll it, make it magical or anything. Come on. So I'm just looking for the next way through here. Looks like right over here this way. Hopefully it won't be a side path. It is. It's down there. I don't want to go through here. I just want to try to beeline for the. Uh, Aspirant's Trial. 
There we go. This one should be the aspirant's trial. There we go. And An can we're going to be trade to flame. Must keep those Did I put it over here somewhere? No, I put it in my gem. Uh, gem one. Let's see. Gems. Red. Herald of Ash. Okay, let's do that. Steel skin, vitality, pride. We're going to switch pride out. Or Herald of Ash again. There. That way I, just, I don't have to worry about my mana as much. And I'm using Molten Strike still, so this is more for Cyclone. I still want to improve this, so I'll put it there. Perfect. And as I improve all those other things, Cyclone will catch up and it'll be a really nice skill. But it has to develop more. So, we're in good shape. Blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Here we go. Last guy. The Empire awaits you. And if you don't want your map on right here, that's a good idea. Just take it off. Just for this fight. And they have traps in here on the third one. The third trial in there. He hit me pretty hard. But I'm okay. I've been able to... I'm tanking him. Let's see if I can tank this hit. Now, here's the thing. If I'm already low on health, I can't tank that hit. The one, I can do it, so I'm just pretty much relaxed. And we'll use some mana. Holy moly. Here we go. Now, the thing is, you got to be a little careful. There might be something left over here. Oh, treasure key. We want that, right? We want this. Now, I should have dumped this stuff out in my uh, stash over there. I don't know. I've never gone back this way. But we got unique items here. These are uniques. So, let's take those and make sure we can carry them. They might be good for us. A rustic stash that adds global damage. That's nice. We don't need health. We're doing well on health right now. There's a mask. Let's see how much we can actually, if we can go forward or backwards through these stairs. I don't think we can. And don't really have that much room for anything else. Take that. No, no. So now I'm just looking at stuff that we can maybe... No, I can't pick that up. A mask I might be able to. And this stuff I can't use, so I should have dropped all... I should have cleaned out my inventory because now I... Oh, these are just the guys that were helping them. That did other things. There's ways to disable or fight those guys. Okay. So let's go to our... Let's do this first. Now, the thing is, we don't want to... Um, let's just dump this in here real quick. Oops. I have a tab. We're just going to put that there. We'll identify that. Now, the thing is, if you get disconnected and you haven't chosen your ascendancy yet, you'll have to do this again, so the pressure's on to actually not mess around here too much. This is what you should really do first. Alright. These are our ascendancies to pick our subclass. Okay? So, the Juggernaut, the Berserker, or the Chieftain. This is getting reworked, this next patch, so I won't even show you this stuff. I mean, it's this, 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 that 100% fire resistances pretty cool pretty cool regen now we can do berserker and berserker adds that adds 2 to 20 to 30 to physical we can do this 20 maximum blitz charges all kinds of stuff here right war cries defy pain to do all this, but ooh, that's an interesting one. Increased attack, uh, increased damage taken, 40%. 10% increased damage taken, 40% more damage. That sounds awesome. <laughs> not gonna, not gonna lie. All these sounds cool, but we're going for this way. <sighs> I'm gonna say next. That just picks it so that it, he's ascended. What divides the conqueror? I'm gonna ascend. Conquered. You could. There's a way to unascend, but it's expensive, and it's usually later. So we could. Ascend. 
Now I go in here and I've got two points to spend. Each time I go through the lab of a higher and higher level, there's four levels to this, then you get two points. So you get eight points in total to spend. Well, so I have some choices. Um, it's a little bit hard. I can go here, 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 or here. Now, if I go here, that it would allow also allow me to pick this one or this one. But what I'm looking at is life regen. This is kind of boring, not that exciting. Unbreakable. It doubles the armor from my arm uh, armor, and it adds 8% um, of my armor applies to my fire, lightning, and cold. It reduces the, the damage I take from fire, lightning, and cold. Not a resistance, though. This one, 10%, not only that, but we get 4% there and 10% here. So we get 14, because you have to take this one anyways. 14% more movement speed, important. Action speed cannot be modified below the base. That means um, my action speed and my movement speed can't be slowed down below their base, meaning like let, let, you step in that oil or that goo or you can still run at normal speed. So that's really nice. And you can't be stunned. I can't be frozen and I can't be uh, like chilled down and slowed way down. So this is really cool. And this is one I'm going to be taking next. But right now I'm going to take this. More damage. Attack speed faster. Great. And some, and some more armor. Cool. Accuracy. I get more accuracy, but you're like, I'm already capped. Why would I want more? The reason I want more is because 1% of my inc goes increased attack speed per 150 accuracy ratings. And that's why if I can start stacking more accuracy. I can do even more and more damage. And I green accuracy uh, rating equal to twice my strength. So let's bring this up. There's my uh, damage. With this one, uh, my damage with fire molten, that. Let's do this one. 18. If I click here and here, I'm at 1826. Let's see what it goes up to. My strength is 220. So the strength will help help me damage more, all kinds of things. Here we go. 2070. And that's just going to get go up and up and up from there. This is a really nice one. And it gets better. Uh, this will be taking next, and then we'll be working through here. So we're going to be doing more damage now. Let's go over here to the next thing. This is a divine font. There's a lot to this as well. What this thing this thing does is allows you to add enchants to your um, your um, to your gloves, your boots, and your helmet. So we're going to do this first. This one. This, at this level, it only allows you to add it to your hands. So we're going to put it on here under your gloves. And this is the only thing we can do, so we might as well do it. Word of reflection. Looks like if, you know, if I get hit, it does something. And we'll be able to tell what it is in a second. So we're just going to enchant it. No worries. And a lot of people will end up running certain uh, labs like this, and they'll bring along a helmet, a good base helmet. Not even enchanted, just a base helmet. And they'll hope to get a really good enchant and they'll slap it on there and it's worth a lot a lot a lot a lot if it gets the right one so now if we have that on there and we go like this we go all the way down here word of reflection um this is what it does minions deal 100 percent more damage well, that's pretty cool minions gain three percent three life per enemy hit trigger this spell when you when when i'm hit minions last uh, five seconds minions deal it creates a, a clone of you that attacks with your weapon this is what the word of reflection does minions last five seconds minions deal 80 percent increased damage minions have 400 and me so that's it so it does all that it creates a clone of me <laughs> pretty cool that's just another neat thing now we have three keys to spend let's spend these keys but first we're going to get rid of these uh, flask. Not rid of, but we're going to put these flasks away. We're going to put that one right there for now because it's a combo. We'll probably end up selling that one because it's a combination one. This is a put it in this line. 
this, we'll put it right up here with that. So one, two, these are Colossals. That's a Colossal. We'll probably sell all three of these and try to get the next level up of, of, uh, of flasks. The other thing I'm going to do is something called a dump tab. Let's do that right now. I want a dump tab, so I'm going to grab this one, and I'm going to right-click on it. It puts it up at the top of the list, and I'm just going to drag it over here. And can I rename this one? No. I can't rename this tab, but if it's a, a custom tab, you can rename it. But I don't need to. So, this is a dump tab. And what people use these for is they just dump their stuff in there. Alrighty. Is this better than our current thing? Might be. Lightning resistance. Uh, close, but no. Alright, let's identify this. The dump tab, they just throw it in there, and then they once it gets full, they'll sell it all at once, so they're not going back and forth, IDing, selling, IDing, selling. It's just faster gameplay. So let's ad identify the two uniques we got. Wild Leather. I think we were going to replace it with a 4-link. This would be great if it was already 4-socketed, four 4-link, four or better. Okay, this weapon. Level 28 weapons. You have to be 28 to do it. Um, the likelihood of it being better than ours? Maybe. It's got a lot of stats to it. It's only a one-hander. Let's see what happens here. We're going to put our... And this isn't the most accurate thing to use, but this is a way. Nah. But that's a neat neat leveling item. So we're just going to stash in our tab. And this is level 25. 21 to dex, 1,000 to evasion. 60% increased evasion rating on top of that. So increased movement speed when you're on... Ooh, that, is, that would be nice. For a leveling, wep, uh, leveling gear, uh, item, this would be so nice to just to be able to move really fast. Throw that on with some boots. This is a really good item for leveling. Wow. All right. We'll just put it away in our stash. I I, I kind of need the... At, at this point, I need the... Um, if this was four reds, I probably would use it. I would definitely use it. If it was linked four reds or, you know, a, a, a better linking thing. Right now I need the other stuff, so I'm going to give up on the space. Let's open these up. We got three treasure keys to use. Oh, and it gave me two more, so that means I can open even more of these. We'll take that and that. The Colossal. I guess we'll take it. We'll take that blinder thing. And let's go and put it over this one. Eh. And what about this one? Heavy belt. Oh boy. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is a rings galore here, huh? Ooh, what a Viridian. Looks like one more that. And it gave us our first jewel, too. This jewel does 1% to block. Oh boy. But we don't, that didn't help us very much. But the jewels can be really, really good as well. Ooh, an orb of fusing. We like those. Scraps, whetstones, orbs, and orbs of transmutation. And what I do is if, I, if I'm not sure, I just click on another one. That wasn't bad. We got five chests. Usually I only get two. So at this point, we can leave and, we, you know, we've done all the things that we need to do in here. We're going to go back to uh, town. We're going to sell off some of our stuff on here. Let's ID this stuff up. We'll ID everything so we get better, uh, so we get alteration shards instead of uh, transmutes. That was a lot of shards we were using. In fact, I'm going to go like that. I'm just going to hold on to one, and I'm going to sell Come over a here. bunch of stuff here. Okay, we have a choice here. It looks like we'll probably set to use this ring. So let's sell this for a second. That way we have more wisdom scrolls. Do anything I would. All right. Well, this lightning thing, we get 26 to lightning. Our cold goes down. Can we, can we, um, we can't craft on this. 
our mana regeneration goes up and we get plus five to all the resistances. So this is a decent item and we get a little bit more damage out of it. I'm just going to arbitrarily say yes to this one. I've been sick of holding on to that for a while. Compare this to this. This has dex and intelligence. We need some, we need some dex. We're going to need it more and more. Increased cold damage. The gain three per enemy hit is no big deal because we have life gain on hit. So we have max on this one right here. We have max life, dex, intelligence, strength, increased cold damage, which we don't do, increased armor, which I think is only for that item, so that's not going to matter. I think this is better. We'll go with this. Let's just go with it. Nice. Um, that's a sell. That is a cell. This critical strike, nah. It needed better stuff on there. Crit strike, no. Increased um, from our crit strike, but not good enough. It's not like adding, it's not like doubling our crit, crit strike value. These things, no, no, no. No, no. And nope, nope, and no. These are just regular magic items. Yeah, so let's I've... sell these off. Uh, we'll even sell that, I guess. Oh, no, we'll get it back. It might be good. Did we get more mana? A uh, mana regen on anything? Is it this? Yeah, our increased mana regen, so we don't have to swap out and get back to that other item. That's nice. We'll get, you know, more regen on that. Looks good, and we'll identify this, compare it. I wish it would compare it if we just had one. Increased amount recovered. Mana recovers instantly, grants immunity to... Mana recovery occurs instantly at the end. No, we don't want that. We want it to happen right away. Bring me back okay. And our, we can go to our stash, uh, not our stash tab, but our dump tab. We're going to do that next. And we're just going to get the items out of there. ID them. And was that a usable item? Not really. And we're going to sell these things. Oh, that's our word of reflection on there. That's going to be fun. We get to use that now, too. You're right. Sell these items because we want these right here. Oh, we got an aug or augmentation or two. There we go. Don't do anything I would. Okay. Let's go back up here. We wanted to work on this item. We could re-roll it because it's really not that great. We could re-roll it. <laughs> kind of interesting to do. We really don't need to, but that's. You know what? Let's have fun. Let's not save our chaos orb till the end, because the new new leaf coming. Let's re-roll this. Get a whole new set of stats on this. Lightning, reflect physical. Not that good. <laughs> okay, well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put this here. And we're going to go like this. Interesting. Then we're going to go like this. Vitality here. Ancestral Protector there. Herald of Ash there. And Steel Skin here. And these are all linked, but it really doesn't matter. Could I link something else better? Not really. Fortify. No. We're in good shape. We can just sell this. And can I craft on this? Yes. No. Uh, no, and no, and no. So we can craft on that. So we'll craft on that in a second. You're right. Okay. Good luck to you. Let's, oh, let's see whatever happened to our defenses. Pretty good, pretty good. So let's see if we can go craft something fun on the, the old uh, chest piece there. Now the thing is, it's good, but it's just barely enough, so 
So what we're going to do is we're going to play it safe. Is there like an all res? I think there is all. All attributes, all resistances, rank 2. We did get it, but it's not allowing us to do it on there. Where is it? Armor. We'll just do life then. We can't add this to it. Not sure why. We should be able to. Hmm. Interesting. We'll just take life. And there's higher tiers of these as well. So you can spend even more eventually and unlock higher tiers of crafting. 25 life. We'll take it. And we'll put this back on here because we've been moving our stuff around. We'll take that off of there. And... There we go. Pride would work better with this. Uh, you know, we're, we're measuring this right there. Pride would work better that with the physical thing. And I think... Are we in good shape? Uh, let's see. Let's go back to... You can even move this around with the edit button. Act 3. The Scepter of God. Let's go finish this out. Oh, it's over here is where we got to go. Is there a sprint potion? Iron wheel support. What is that? I've never really paid attention to that one. I've played for years. What is this? Uh, it's a spell support. Strength dam strength's damage bonus applies to all spell damage as well for the supported skills. Nah. That's why I never paid attention to it. I just play these guys. And oh, take out these blue black blue boys. Very cool. We're getting too way high, too leveled now. Oh, where's our uh, word of reflection? Is that happening? Let's see if it happens. For five seconds, we should spawn a uh, a minion. Let's see. How, let's see if he pops up. Oh, there he is! He's doing our... and he's swinging! <laughs> he did his thing! <laughs> Pretty cool! Oh, boy. Pretty neat. Let's see what our uh, de defense is. 47, so it went back down. We gotta get more armor as we level to keep our little... Is this what? No. Where is the way out? Over here. It's a big, big, big door. It's a very weird one. This way and then down and around. There he goes, running off. He hits, but he doesn't hit as hard as I do. Is this him right up here? He right up. No, maybe around this corner? There's even ways to make it so that these things will automatically get used. You can, like, auto-use your glass. There's a lot of things you can do to customize this thing, so it's, it becomes really, really amazing and fun. Oh, right up here is where it is. There it is. It's always along this side somewhere. We're going to unlock this. And away we go. I think this will unlock the next, uh... The next act up this way. How far is it, though? Oh, we gotta climb this tower. It's easy to do, though. Let's find the door. Stairs up. Gosh, my guy's just killing people. And away we go. Easy stuff. There's the doorway up. Stairs up. And we'll find the next staircase up. And because this is the four link now, this isn't very important. So we can, if we get a better weapon, we don't have to loop out losing our four linked reds. We can just uh, 
grab the weapon and roll with what we have. If we have to lose vengeance, we lose it. You know, there's things that are optional now for us. Whereas before, that really wasn't the case. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, there's the thing. What's this green guy here? I don't know why he showed up green on our map for a second there. Not sure why. There's that. I'm just gonna wait till this all levels up so I don't have to click one at a time, one at a time. There we go. Oh, looks like I gotta get another level before I unlock that. So why is that guy green like that? Oh, and then I get it. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> Ooh, we're in a level 32 area at least now. And we'll take that armor. Very unlikely that we'll use it because this is our forward thing. So, I mean, we can identify it. It would have to be, like, just so unbelievably good. I don't even know what it could be that would convince us not to. Let's see if we can use this point anywhere. Well, we can't use them here because we don't have any. we got to get the point through the lab for that. Let's scroll out. <sighs> this unique enemies, like bosses, I think that that would count as a unique enemy. It's not a rare more damage. Oh, we already picked that, so let's go something else. Let's see. We could go down and grab these. This is an interesting... This corrupted blood can't be inflicted on you is a nice thing as far as um, uh, quality of life. So if we get that, we can just forget about co uh, corrupted blood. That's useful. And then this does five to all elements. That makes us it easier for us to balance our gear. That's a nice thing to do. And then this adds one to our maximum resistances. So now cold would be 76 instead of 75. And you think, oh, that's not that much. Well, that's 4% of the remainder of the damage that comes from cold. So it adds up pretty quick. And then you get this one plus two to all of them. That's kind of nice. I'm going to go with fire. I like this one. This is going to make life easier, but we don't have to do it quite yet. Well, let's do it for fun. There we go. What is our defenses at? All capped. All capped and still level 33 is ridiculous. Usually all capped by like, you know, by the end of Act 5, maybe. If you're lucky. No, not even. We're in good shape. We're very defensive. Very, uh... We're very defensive. And, we're, and we still have plenty of uh, power to smash things. And we can sit there and use our vengeance to hit back. Take that scroll or that, uh, whatchamacallit. There we go. Wow. What, did we get another one? Oh no, that's him. Chance to bleed. So we're just looking for the next stairway up. There's a lot of stairs on here. This is so easy. Granted, I, and, and I, you know, we are over leveled, but but still, this is just even if we were four or five levels up tier uh, area wise, we'd still be just crushing it. Oh, shoot, there's a cut through. I thought. We don't even have the most optimized uh, anything, really. <laughs> but we're just doing fine. We're having fun. Easy. Oh, there's the way through. These guys, I gotta get inside them to actually hit their uh, things, I think. It's like a proximity shield. You gotta be inside it. The other thing, we get a 50% increased... Um, accuracy bonus which doesn't show up on this if you're close to them so we get even more accuracy if we're close to something um it, yeah it doesn't show up you know this is close range anything around here is close range usually and we're pretty close to stuff most times as a melee character we're not way far away ever oops sorry here's the next boss fight very nice Let's tell you how easy or hard this is. 
This one hits hard pretty sometimes. Our exile, defenses are way up, our resistance you are good. A man. Gotta win. Pretty easy. Spinning. Notice our health is not going down. We'll drop an amulet. Or an amulet. We'll drop a, uh, a totem. Now the bad thing is when you drop the totem, it actually stops you from spinning. See that? So that can kind of be dangerous if uh, you're fighting something and you're relying on your life gain on hit to keep you alive the entire time. Dropping that totem can actually, uh, you know, be a little bit of a scary moment. But we're fine. Have you ever seen the true face of God exile? See, we got a little that guy from our word of reflection Die. that pops up. Okay. Light of divinity. Now there's a way to fight this correctly. If I don't I don't think we stand inside those or we do, I don't know. I just smash this guy down and I don't really think about it too much. You're not really supposed to be able to fight from God. Face tank that. But the light of I can just kind of stand here and there. Usually that would kill you if you're not uh, this world is an illusion, not uh, tanky like I am. That big hit that he did would usually just crush us in one hit. But it only took us down to like right there. So this is just a really relaxing build, I'll put it that way. The fight you don't have to really t pay too much attention to. <laughs> yeah, we're just spinning around. There's the damage at the top. What if I spun? Let's see. Let's see if the spinning does. Spinning does about the same. Not too bad. Getting lots of hits on him though. When I spin like this, getting so many hits. So my life gain on hit is just chunking away. There we go. Bunch of stuff. And we get to go to... Right this way. It should we're in Act Four now? I guess we can just run up here and do this, and we'll wrap things up. We're gonna run this way. I'll show you this a little. This is a fun run, actually. The neat thing about this, uh, what you might call it, the uh, see how I'm just running along and I'm moving ahead. That's the deceptive thing. And I had to stop and swing versus just move ahead and swing. It's a very, it's, it, it's hard, you know, it's hard to calculate. You're, you're moving along and I'm, I'm still getting the, I'm making advance. I'm advancing the map is what I'm saying. So it's hard to say that that doesn't get calculated into your DPS, meaning the movement and all that kind of stuff. I think there's something nice down here. It's usually something nice of these little pronged endings. So it's like little groups of creatures that are usually worth chomping on. And we're just running along. Wow. <laughs> oh, we got a carrion crow. Four of these give me some life armor. Interesting. I'll pick it up. The likelihood of me finding three other ones of those cards. Pretty low, though. And away we go. We'll take out these blue boys. We'll take the sword, too. That might be a good sword. We don't know. Here's a little mini boss. <laughs> Hitting him so hard he barely gets a chance to fly away. And away we go. We'll take these up. Oh, we'll take this guy out too. He might give us something nice. What is he going to give us? Nothing. Oh, the blue boys we'll take out. Colossal Mana Flask. I think we have three of those now. We can upgrade to the next size up. No, we really don't need it. Yeah, see that's... Oh, an Orb of Alchemy. We needed that. That's nice. We can re-roll this if we wanted to. We probably will. Why not? It'll be fun. We gotta have fun, right? Giant flask. I guess we'll take it. A oh, word of wisdom. Word of wisdom. <laughs> Scroll of wisdom. Okay. Now let's just go to our 
There, and we've unlocked that. And it should be unlocked. That should be unlocked. We shouldn't have to go touch that waypoint. Perfect. Let's identify the things. That's a big sheet of the nice, but nope, not for us. Okay. Now, it's not the end of wor the world if we lose that trigger word of reflection. It, it does some nice stuff, but it's not great. So if we found really, really better gloves, we would take them and use them. Those are pretty good. 56 life, some armor on them. Those are pretty good, but I want, like, attack speed is really, really, really good. So that's what I want to shoot for. Okay, we'll sell this stuff. I think there's a seller right up here. And not that one. Cool. See ya. And there we go. Where you are needed. Whew, a lot of stuff we've got done. Um, there we go. I don't know what that gem was. Let's see if we can sell off some of this. We've got the giant life flask. Three sixty. Colossal. 830. 360, 640. It's right in between these two. Okay. So we can't upgrade that one yet. What about this? One, two, three. We could upgrade this one. But really to what end? It's not like those what aren't it, like exile? the let's see. One, two, we could use it and whatever we'll take it we won't even re-roll it we'll just let it be as is okay let's re-roll this for fun I want to get something neat on there do I have to I don't think I have to take all this out let's do it not normal oh that would I needed a, a whatchamacallit a chaos <laughs> I'm sorry put that back there we go that chaos would reroll it. This is for turning a normal item into a rare. And we have that many of those. Now, we've made it to a new act, so there's a possibility we could actually find a weapon that is better, a better base weapon um, here. And then we could upgrade, but eh, it's getting close. This is, we're wearing out our welcome on this weapon. We're falling behind. And it was really, a, it was a big upgrade but we need to upgrade further so let's go talk to these guys although you don't have to talk to these guys Ooh, this is a like that's for I delve am. that's a whole new mechanic we'll talk to these guys over here and her and this is where you turn in your cards that you collect those divination cards you have a you just go like this and you trade him the cards, and you just put the cards in there like that. And I have them in my stash, right over here. Hey, okay, let's cards. And right now it shows all, but just the collected. You could say owned, like this, and then you could say full stacks, meaning a complete set. I don't even have any so right now, so you get a lot more later in the game. We're in good shape. Uh, we can't craft on anything because we've crafted on all the things we can possibly craft on. Can we craft on this? I wonder. Prefix, prefix, prefix. Suffix, suffix. Suffix. No, we can't. And we can't on that, and we can't on this. Okay. Not bad. I think we're in good shape, and we should probably wrap it up. This is the next, uh, the next um, act. If you like this stuff, go ahead and hit a like. Subscribe. I don't know how many people are going to make it to the two point, the two forty nine mark. But uh, if you did, uh, congratulations. Let me know if you actually made it to the end. Very few people. I I don't know. Well, I can't. I I don't know. I can't tell. If, there's probably a way to see if people watch the whole thing, but I don't know. That's a lot of watching. <laughs> um, it's relaxing. I don't go fast. I explain everything that I'm doing. So, pretty cool. And if you were playing regular, you would blow through this. You'd be, you'd be done with the campaign by now if you were, you know, if you were a decent player. Yeah, you would be way far, yeah, <laughs> a lot farther than this. But we're having fun. 
have a good one and enjoy. We got our subclass, very cool. And we have this now too, let's see. We're gonna be taking this next, it's unstoppable. We're gonna be moving faster, which is awesome. And we're gonna be doing um, no stunning, No, they can't stun us, they can't freeze us, can't slow us down. I love it. Have a good one. Oh, and we're almost up to the sub count of a thousand. Oh boy.